I need an opening for this show. I, uh, it's been two weeks now. I should probably get an opening for this show. I'll probably ask one of the guys because I don't know how to do that. Welcome everybody to Aluminum Spork. I am Scott. If you have uh, missed such shows as the Exozone or uh, you don't feel like there's enough about conspiracies, um, ancient history, alternative history, uh, aliens, UFOs, UAP, all that good stuff. Um, Big Brother, the government, Great Reset, all that stuff. Well, Monday nights for now will be that show for you. Uh, I'd just like to say hello to everybody first. I know um, this isn't one of the bigger shows I have, and I'm okay with that. So we have um, uh, Emotionally Unstable Amphibian saying hail. The beautiful Tina Bojan saying good evening, friends. Uh, Zaz. <laughs> Great idea for a show, Scott. Thank you, buddy. Uh, release the McCracken who does the greatest memes of all time. Um, you know, there are some people that do some fantastic ones. I also get nailed with stupid stuff. Uh, I love this one of our, uh, Yahoo or, um, we're trying to think of a name for culture, but it's, uh, his Yoda form. Um, and then people get you with weird things like this. <laughs> probably get copyright struck for that but small time republic says hey i'll enter the spork familiar yeah dude i did my first show of this last week and who pops up this sunday you know after six months of not being around mr final death star mr enter the unfamiliar that bastard he felt the sweat from my amazing show with walton that we did um last week we talked about the hollow earth uh i would love to get um Final Death Star on this show. Jay is one of my good friends. I haven't really talked to him in a while, so I hope everything's well. He said it was. I watched the show after the fact. If you guys don't know Jay, you don't know uh, Enter the Unfamiliar, please subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link in after I put up this poll. And the poll is, uh, have you ever noticed in your life, your own life the Mandela Effect? Because uh, that is what we will be talking about. Uh, Andy with a member's and I'm sorry, guys, I'm glad I just looked at this because I won't be able to see this without having a producer. But uh, Andy McCollum, uh, Andy has a member for 11 months. Hail Scott with fist bumps. Andy, uh, are you a are you a mod on my channel? Because if you are, put your link in there. Oh, and thank you, Tina, for sharing. Uh, Enter the unfamiliar. So I didn't have to do it. So right there. Who else do we have? But we do have Andy up in the house. Um, e clay, Thomason, Thomason. We have the great Orville nation, uh, who I love. Great guy. Um, pot who has an amazing channel. Who's killing it right now. The Orville should make him at least into the, I would say by the end of season three, he should be at least 30,000 subscribers. Um, pot roast station, <laughs> aluminum spork. I like that. Katina Martin, thank you for uh, sending me ideas for this. A lot of them, the same, like everybody, you sent a couple interesting ones. Um, a lot of us have seen most of them. I went to like the newest article I could find on this. Uh, so hopefully we will uh, have some that you've never seen. And we may even like watch somebody else's video a little bit. I don't know. But after we talk about the Mandela effect, we will be talking about some new sightings, uh, UAPs or... Uh, they, UAP is what again? An un. They change everything for me. Unknown aerial phenomenon or something like that. Uh, we'll be checking out some of those, the most recent ones. And if you guys have any news to bring up, yes, please let me know. Because uh, we will. Sev, how are you? What up? How have you been? Um, who else do we have in here? And then we'll get to the show. Oh, you're not a mod. Wow. Well, that needs to be changed. Pretty much everybody's a mod. I probably should take some people off modding who really don't show up a lot here. Um, and that's not a disrespect to them. It's just make room for others. Ruben, how are you, my man? The Mandela effect, misremembering. And that's definitely a lot of people believe that's what it is. I have no issue. So for everybody to understand, if you're new here, please hit the like button, share, subscribe. We do talk about all this different type of stuff. I'm not saying I believe in everything. I talk about on this 
uh, channel. I do believe in, uh, like if we talk lost histories, I do believe that cataclysms may have made us forget our, our true histories as humans on this planet. Um, the Mandela effect. Is it a mass mismembering? It could be. Um, but random ones that I threw out at work today, and I work with 30 other guys, certain age groups remember them one way, where other age groups above or below that, like Gen Xers, the ones that I remember, a lot of them remember the same way. So I don't know if it's mismembering or if there has been a slip in space and time uh, caused by, I don't know, the, I always say it wrong, the Hadrian Collider or even nuclear testing causing the fabric in time to be a little uh, flexible. Who's to say it isn't? Um, I am not a you know, physicist, so I am not going to pretend like I know everything. Uh, the conservative dog. Sorry, but please explain the Mandel effect. I will. Thank you for asking. Phil, what up? What up to you, Sean? Hey, good to see you, buddy. Uh, we have about 20. Wow, 20 people watching. I'm actually shocked you guys want to watch this. I love it. Parrothead is here. The Ginger Ninja. Jake. D, holy, well, it's actually, I call him Jack D, but it's Jake D. Jake D, wow, channel member, one of my longest serving channel members. Much respect. Uh, has a channel too, I believe. So check it out. Uh, Free Folk, the fandom, will be a guest at some point on a Monday night with me. So that's pretty cool. He has also been guests on some of my A Song of Ice and Fire streams. I think he's been on one or two. So make sure you guys check those out. I, I, I'm blaming it on the Scarlet Witch. Why not? Why not? So, all right. Got to take, you know, take a sip of the old seltzer. Got a, a little parchment, parch going on here. So, the Mandela effect. Okay, so layman's terms. It goes back to uh, right after Mandela died. So, Mandela died a few years ago uh, after getting out of prison in the nineties, um, becoming the president of South Africa and, you know, ended up living a, for some people, iconic life. Um, but when he died, there was not just a few, like hundreds of thousands of people that didn't even know he was still alive, truly believed he died in prison. Like a lot of them could break it down to like examples that the other ones remembered the same that he died in prison in the nineties. So the, one of the women that thought of it coined it the Mandela effect, but it's these moments where yes, you might be mismembering it, but, or has it changed for some, but not others because of some type of multiverse time slip or space slip. Um, I don't know. We will see. Uh, I think I said hello to everyone, but if I missed you, I'm sorry, Katina, you're so sweet. Keck 44, howdy! And Ken Jack, what's up? The Mandela effect can be explained away by other things. And I agree. I, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying it isn't. But what I'm saying is I like to be open to the idea of it. I like to be open that I, I don't like to, because I don't agree with something, because think other people, and I'm not saying any of you are doing this, so please don't take this personally, but I've noticed on other website, other channels, like they want to make people feel like they're not smart because they believe that this could happen. And I want to say, are you so smart that it can't happen? But I like the mismembering. I like to people to like, try to push us, you know, to why we think that like, I'll take one that I always thought was a Mandela effect, Jiffy peanut butter. Oh, I always knew there was Jiffy. Well, there's Jiff and there's Skippy and I must've just put them together as Jiffy. Um, Andy says Mandela effect. Some people remember Mandela dying in prison. Yes. While the rest of us remember otherwise. I am one of those that remember otherwise, but there are some things like the Baron Stain and Steen bears thing. You're not going to change my mind. That was Baron Steen, not stain, but we'll go over some of those. Orville nation for $2 says you need a show called Sporky's revenge. <laughs> I like that. I do like that. Um, thank you brother for the $2. You rock. Oh, wow. Pot Roast Station is a new sub first time watcher. Be gentle. Hey, that is one thing with my channel. We are here. You could disagree. You could mislike one of the streams. We try to just support one another. There may be some heated debates that happen in the chat. Do not take it personally. Um, you know, Wednesday's chat, people will be throwing you love again. So don't, don't have uh, any thought of holding back. Just be respectful respectful everyone 
just because you believe one thing and you believe others that don't believe it are not as smart. That's the one time it gets me mad. I don't mind people fighting fiercely for what they believe. I don't even know why I'm wearing headset because I don't need it right now. Um, just be respectful. Because some people, as we were talking about, my truth, I don't believe in that. I believe there is a truth um, for the most part. Subjectively, we might, um, you know, or objectively, we might see it differently at times. But like, did America enter World War II? Yes, we did. That's a truth. All right. So, yes. Thank you. Smash that like button. Conservative dog is here. Um, who else do we got? Uh, Katina's here. Ken Jack says some people have claimed that packaging labels being different are signs of the Mandela effect. This is why I don't buy it even as an idea. And I get that. Like the Kit Kat one. I, I believe it. I'm sorry. I remember the Kit Kat with the little thing in the middle, the little hyphen thing. Sorry. Remember it that way. Um, I'm not saying it. it is real. I just like the idea of thinking about these things. To me, it's interesting to think about Hollow Earth. The only one you won't get me to think about, even though I've tried to put myself in their place, is Flat Earth. That one I just can't. If you can, if you truly believe it and you could like school me on it, DM me or email me something. We'll talk because I, that's the one I can't put myself in somebody else's position. Uh, Pinocchio's helicopter tours. I love that. Hell, <laughs> always good to see Katina. It is. Um, this is the, this is like a creepy pasta that people hear from someone they trust and they believe it. Um, no, I, I, cause I, I tested the theory today. Like I would ask, I literally ask some people like, what was that book? You know, not the book one. I, I Kit Kats. What does the label look like? And one of the guys is like, it's Kit Kat with the little thing in the middle. And I was like, you sure about that? And it went around. Does the Monopoly man have one of those monocles or not? No, definitely he has one. No, he doesn't. Like, so I asked the questions without putting it in their heads, just giving them options. So we'll see. Um, Andy says, my Mandela experience was me remembering that I hit 100. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? I wish I jumped into one that was better than that. What is up, buddy? Cody guy. It's been a while. Good. All right. So let's go over the Mandela effect. I I'm grabbing an article. If this isn't a good one, I'm going to find another one. Cause if you have been here, I don't read articles until I actually put them up because I find it to be more fun that I am as in the dark as everybody else. But so this one's from, okay, that's from August. 2017. Maybe we can go back to something else, but it'll give you what if I told you everything you know is a lie. Morpheus, yay. Uh, let's try to get a newer one. So, three days ago, 50 Mandela uh, effect examples, things you think you remember correctly that you've actually gotten all wrong. So, it's a thinking thing, but you're going to tell me some of these, like, even the actors said it the way we thought it was said, but in the movie, it, it's different. Sorry. So is it the Berenstein Bears or Berenstain Bears? Um, did I put up the... I'm sorry. I'm everywhere because I don't have a producer tonight. There is a... Please make sure you check out the uh, poll and let me know. Um, so uh, does Curious George have a tail or not? These are classic examples of what call, what's called the Mandela Effect. But what is the Mandela Effect exactly? And this is coming from Parade Magazine and it's... Marin Lillis, Lilies, something like that. Sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, this guide on the Mandela effect plus 50 Mandela effect examples will help you make sense of this fascinating phenomenon. So th what is it? Named by paranormal researcher Fiona Broom, the Mandela effect is defined as an instant when you remember something that doesn't match with the historical record. The name was coined after political leader Nelson Mandela's death in 2013. Countless people swore he died when he was held in prison in the 80s and distinctly remember news covering coverage of the funeral. And they were people that didn't know each other coming out separately, remembering that. And yes, misremembering, I understand. Um, but there are examples where they have it. They have it like we, we've seen copies of the Berenstein Bears book. I don't know. Um, 50 Mandela effect examples. So this is where we're going to get into it. I'll play some of these if it'll play on this page. Hoping it does. So this is the one I was talking about. Jif versus Jiffy. I remember as a kid, Jiffy peanut butter. 
Now, I might have messed that up because of Jif and Skippy, but I never really remembered Jif until recently. So let's see what this guy has to say. Um, and this is looks like from a game show, people. Don't worry, Rob. Let's, let's do time marches on. Time marches on? Let's do it. Okay. Describe these units of time. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready. Go. Okay, not a second, but a... a minute. Oh. A, a, a thousand. A thousand. millennium. Yes. A fortnight. Okay, uh, do this quickly, quickly. Uh, peanut a butter. Pe peanut butter, not Skippy, but... Uh, uh, the other one. Skip. The other one. Jelly. Uh, 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 the other one is Jiffy. 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 Oh, Jiffy. <laughs> All right, you did very well there. You have six. We're going to go back over to... No one says there's no such thing as Jiffy at the moment. So that is one of the ones that is highly contested because Skippy and Jiff, it's easy to get Jiffy. Uh, let me know what you remember. This one got me a little bit. Oscar Meyer versus Oscar Meyer. So you know the jingle, my baloney has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name. It's M-E-Y-E-R. That's how I remember it, I think. No, no, M-A-Y-E-R. Yeah. Uh, maybe I screwed it up anyways. Solved. Um, so some people insist the, the second lyric of the famous jingle goes, Mayor is spelled with an E instead of an A. Oh, so yeah, I did spell it with an E. So M-E-Y-E-R. That's how I remember it. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Let me know what you guys remember. Oh, wow, you cannot see anything I'm reading. That is awesome. Good job, Scott. That's a little bit better, I hope. All right. So yeah, Oscar Mayer, you know the jingle. I don't know how many of you, any of this happens, but let me know if it does. Uh, the famous HBO show isn't sex in the city. Okay. This is one. I dated a girl when that show was popular. I think my wife even watched it towards the last seasons when we met. Isn't it? It's always been sex in the city, not sex and the city. Does anybody remember sex and this? I remember it in I N anybody else people, people see. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. M A Y E R. Oh, that's fine. M E Y. Yeah. See, come on people. We all get this right. Come on. Uh, oh, that's Andy. That's the one that I'll I'll die on a hill for. I definitely remember watching the Sinbad Genie movie. I definitely remember that back then you would get two Comet Impact movies. You get two Asteroid movies every time one came out, another one from a different studio. And Kazam came out with uh, Shaquille and Sinbad came out with Shazam or something close to that. But I remember it. I remember watching it. Like, that's the one where I, how do you misremember it? It's so hard for me to understand that. Hello, lovely Sherry. How are you? Um, that's one of the tough ones for me. Uh, so, yeah, I guess it's sex and the city. This is another one where we, I, I asked the guys at work, how does uh, We Are the Champions end? And one guy was so, so, he actually said, I just listened to it. Like on his phone. I just listened to it and it ends. We are the champions of the world. Yes, that's in the song, but it doesn't end that way. So he's like, listen, he played it and it literally ends. We are the champions. Now, why do we misremember it that way? Because everyone I know sings it with of the world. You know, like I know that's a part of the song, but I swore it ended with like that that way, too. So it was that was a tough one for me, too. Another tough one. The money uh, monopoly man doesn't have a monocle. And if people are like, Oh, you're mixing them up with the peanuts guy. No, I'm not. The guy had a friggin' monocle. We need to find like pictures. I thought there would be pictures with most of this stuff. Um, I'll have to find another one that shows pictures, but come on. You're telling me you don't remember him with a monocle. Uh, let's see. I remember him on the left and in recent years, the right, but I always remembered him with the mon the, the monocle on the left. Now people are saying it's because of the peanut guy. I don't believe that just cause just cause they have top hats. Come on. Um, and people have shown their old school monopoly with the monocle. Uh, you know, so I don't know. Am I saying that right? Monocle? Maybe. I don't know. All right. What do you guys think? Did he have a monocle or not? Let me check out the, uh, wow. I am terrible without my producer. Grant Gregory. Where are you? Grant come to me, buddy. So I'm ending the poll in five, four, three, two, one. 
All right. And we come to find out that out of 28 votes, 53% of you say, yes, you've noticed it in your life. 46 have said no. Actually, that's more than I would have thought. So I'm actually really impressed. That's awesome. Um, so Ken Jack says the Mandela effect is just a way for the East coast people to explain why they get things wrong all the time and how they speak in proper English, please. Where are you on the West coast? Are you, uh, Hey, Mr. Oh, hola, Mr. Han. Come on. Um, TG says we remember the song that way because that's how some movies finish the song. And that could be it. That could be it. Monopoly. Yes, he played the Monopoly man with the monocle. So tell me why he did that. You know, I just I don't understand how we've gone so far that we won't even admit to that people. Uh, Pikachu. Now, I wouldn't know this one because I didn't really watch Pokemon, but some 90s kids clearly remember black de- black detailing on the Pokemon character's tail. However, in reality, um, it's just yellow. So this is how we're going to do it so we can get visuals. So I remember the one on the left, this guy. And they're saying it's only the one on the right. I did not know that. Huh? That's crazy. I always remember him having that little black swash. That's weird. Uh, the Mandela effect is best explained by a type of false memory called gist memory or gist gist where you remember a thing, but are off on the details. I, and I agree. It could be that. Yeah. He has a tail, but they're saying that black piece, the black part on the tail was never there. I remember it being there. So that's weird. Um, and I love it. Cause I'm dude, I did a lot of drugs. Okay. <laughs> you know, so that's why a lot of these, I'm like, I'm sure I remember it that way, man. So like, you know, I could be wrong. Give a brother a break. Leonardo DiCaprio's Oscar win. Uh, despite winning his first Oscar award in 16 for the role in the Rev- Reverend Revenant. That was a good movie. Uh, many people believe he won one like in Titanic or what's eating Gilbert grape. I don't remember that one. Um, this is one for our fandom. Darth Vader doesn't say, Luke, I am your father. Uh, Luke, I am your father. I've heard James Earl Jones say that exact line in uh, interviews. Uh, It's probably one of the greatest misremembered lines. However, he says, no, I am your father, which I know it's that now. But I remember as a kid and James Earl Jones and the actors all said, Luke, I am your father. This is the one I'll, I'll die on a hill with this one. People. I'm sorry. The Sinbad genie movie doesn't exist. So people swear that there was a genie movie starring comedian Sinbad. However, it was never made. Uh, people want to say it's Kazam with Shaquille. Like I would know the difference. I wouldn't know the difference between Shaquille and freaking Sinbad. That's, that's racist. I'm sorry. We got 28 likes, two more for 30, please. Um, does anybody else remember that movie? Please tell me you do. Let's see. What are you guys are saying? Oh yeah, Andy. I, I remember. Yep. Same here. I only know it's just yellow because of the Ryan Reynolds movie. Oh, okay. Pot roast station says Darth Vader never said be me. up, <laughs> Scotty. Wait a minute. You don't remember that too? I remember. Why do I always put on these headphones? I remember the be me up, Scotty. He was talking to, uh, to Twinkie, Twinkie, Twiggy. I screwed that up. You know, beep, 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 beep. Um, I used to na- think that in Buck Rogers, his name was Twinkie cause, as a kid. So I never get his name right. Uh, Tina Bojam says his tail is like a lightning bolt. I know, but I always thought it had that little black end to it. Um, I used to think the A team van was all black with a red stripe. But when I rewatched the show, I did recall that was not the case. It was just that the light lighting made it look all black sometimes. What do you mean? It's not all black. It's all black with a red stripe. I remember that one. What is up, Brent? Please hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. We are at 30. Thank you very much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Also, um, sh- you know, if you guys, if you have Twitter, retweet this. And I'll, I'll actually give you guys the post. 
that I want you to retweet. Uh, where is it? Br Brutal Mortaring Wood always gets that. I love it. Okay, I want you to retweet this one, but with, with um, with like a quoted retweet and tweet Mr. Grant Gregory at Mr. Grant Gregory and just be like, dude, where are you? Where where are you? In Australia, shouldn't you be here? It's that time. Also, breaking news: uh, Ezra Miller still on the run. Yeah, good old Ezra still on the run. Thought you might want to know. He is, uh, Ezra Miller has reportedly kidnapped a teenager and is now on the run from p police. They can't find him. Ooh, they said him. That's messed up. They can't find them. <laughs> Actually, that works for him and both of them. That works. Uh, and break other breaking news. He, uh, they just signed him for flash Two, probably where he plays every role because this kid is Teflon. Everything just slides right off of him. It's unbelievable. Yeah, people. For make sure you when you requote this one and add me too, Mr. Grant Gregory and me. Mr. Grant Gregory, why aren't you on at Sporking's, you know, show? Kind of breaks my heart. I was hoping to have another guest too that would have blown your minds, but you guess he couldn't make it. Um So, let's move on. Yeah, that's one I, I I'm sorry. Sinbad, there was a movie. I he did a spoof. Which is really cool that he did this. But it was like during the Mr. Uh, what was the name of that show he was on? Mr. Uh, not Mr. Carter. Whatever that time, that show, I believe that was when he was doing, that was when that movie came out. Uh, the Ford logo. So let's see this. Oh, this is Mandela Effect. This guy's proving the logo. 100% proof of Ford logo. All right, we're not going to watch all of that. But do you remember the curly wave at the end of the F in a Ford logo. If you don't, chances are you're not alone. However, however, in reality, the little flare has been part of the original logo since the nineties. So they're talking about this little swoosh has been there. Uh, you know, I don't buy Fords usually, so I didn't know that. It's weird. Anybody else remember that or Sinbad? Uh, let's see. Did I miss a super chat? Oh, I'm sorry, Pinocchio. Uh, Pinocchio's helicopter tours. Uh, Pinocchio, read better, Scott. I'm Roof Green. Oh, Roof. What is up, man? What? How do you pronounce that? Pinachets? Pinachets? I don't know how to pronounce that. Can you do it? Hyphen hyphen uh, I'm slow. Did I tell you I did a lot of drugs in the um, early years? Um, I don't remember that. What's up, Tim? Talk. Yo, Tim's, I'm sorry. I hate the sequel trilogy, but Tim, you are Ben Solo. Like I've seen some of your Instagram stuff. You are Ben Solo, bro. And you should hook up with that girl who does, um, cosplaying Tamara Miller or something like that. Please tell me. My wife's Mrs. Spork. Come here. Tell me this guy doesn't look like it. But Tamara Miller, you should hook up with her because she does amazing cosplayers. Mrs. Spork looked at me like I was doing something wrong and then I got scared that I was doing something wrong. Well, you said to, for him to hook up with her. Yeah, hook up with her. And then tell you. Oh, yeah, tell me what it was like. She's a famous person. Not like that. That was dirty, Mrs. Spork. Dirty. Everyone say hi to Mrs. Spork. She has a fan club out there, I believe. Um, <laughs> 29 people watching. Wow. Thank you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, this is again, I don't have my usual, um, people with me tonight, which is usually just Mr. Grant Gregory. I could use a culture casino. Don't know where he is. Um, I'm going to text Mr. Casino. Oh, he didn't show up for my show. Talking about Mr. Grant Gregory. You're seeing behind the scenes right now, people. Uh, for the stream. People say I do that because I don't like silence on a stream. Who does? Um, but good to see you, Tim. Uh, let's see what others are. Oh, oh, well, here he is. Did you think it was 830 by any chance? 
Yeah, yeah. Because we did like A30 that. last week. We'll just say it's yeah. something like that. How are you, buddy? Let's go. Good, good man. Yourself? I'm doing great. Let everybody know who you are and who you are. Uh, well, um, I'm Mr. Grant Gregory, and my name is Mr. Grant Gregory, and I have a channel called Mr. Grant Gregory where I do things and stuff on that. And sometimes turn up the panels on time, sometimes I don't. Um, but if you go back and you can remember, just remember that I was here, which is a part of the Mandela Effect, so I was never late. Oh, touche, sir. I do like that. Um, so we've been going over some of the Mandela stuff, uh, like the Ford symbol having that little swoosh and stuff like that. Have, have you ever experienced the Mandela Effect? Uh, yeah. The, one of the big ones that that I argue black and blue with is I swear I saw um, uh, Henry VIII eating a turkey leg. Oh, in, in definitely. That's yeah. my another one of my I will I'm, die I'm, in the hell. I'm, I'm convinced of that one. Convinced of that one too. Dude, I remember staring at it as a kid. Like... I am a huge history buff and I remember like, I like historical portraits and stuff and I'll never forget that. And now he doesn't have the Turkey leg. That's bullshit. Uh, Ruben, I don't have a gilded. I don't even know how to use it. I tried to like, like follow toxic and all those guys on their gilded. I don't know what to do. Once I can start paying Mr. Grant Gregory even more, maybe he'll do one for me, but right now we're holding off. Um, when did, when did you, first become aware of it or get into it the mandela effect yeah it's been quite a few years now um two to four three four years Uh, it's been a while um because there weren't many that people knew of when i when i started there was like six there was like six mandela effects now i find 50 here that's why i'm hoping i find one i don't know um how about you well, I actually had them before the Mandela Effect was really like a sort of thing. In film school, I mentioned about um, Shazam, the movie, with Sinbad. Where it's Sinbad, right. Yeah. Um, and my, my teachers and that, they had no idea what I was talking about. And I was trying to tell people, half the class knew what I was talking about, the other half had no idea. Right. And that was the first time that I really experienced, but it wasn't called that. It was just called misremembering it. Like... Um, like Luke, I'm your father instead of, um, no, I uh, no I'm your father. I mean, uh, there is footage out there of James Earl Jones in an interview saying the, the phrase, Luke, I am your father. Like they, it's, and Tom Hanks even saying life is like a box of chocolates, like in interviews, but it was actually life was like a box. Why? If your mother is giving you advice and saying life is like a box of chocolate, you never know what you're going to get future tense. Why would she say then life was like a box of chocolate? Okay, you just my I didn't know about that one. Oh, you didn't know about that one. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's it's in the movie it says life was like a box of chocolate. And I don't know if anybody else realized what that no. actually means. If you say was, it means his life's yeah, over pretty much. Cuz then he's talking about the future. That does, you yeah. don't he can, Okay. Right? I don't know. Who had a turkey leg so Henry VIII, big, uh, if you're English, you know him. If you're American, you know him because we beat the English. Um, he had he had a portrait done. And I think it's like either ha- uh, waist up or full portrait of himself when he was a heavier man holding a turkey leg in the portrait. I remember it clear as day as a kid. That never happened. I guess there's one where he's holding something different, but never the turkey leg, which. Yeah. He's why do we all a, remember a, that? A blade then? or something. Yeah. It's um, like a knife. Which is bullshit. Why would we all remember a turkey leg if it wasn't a slip in time and space? I don't know. And that's, that's for me, that's the one, as I said, that's the one that I'm convinced. And I've searched high and low for a picture. I've seen like fan edits, um, but I've never actually seen the one that I remember. Mm-hmm. So I'll just upload the picture now of. Um, oh, apparently, we've got too many pictures on there. I think I read some of the other ones. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. But the life is like a box of chocolates makes more sense in the phrasing of what she's telling him. Like, it is a, bo- it is a box of chocolate because you never know what you're going to get. Not it was, like, past tense. It was no, like because, a box of chocolates. because past tense it would be an empty box. Yeah, life was like an empty box of chocolate. It chocolates, should be. Yeah, I don't remember Bro what knows. we had. I feel like I've seen H, the A, eat a turkey leg in a 60s sitcom 
Yeah, but this is the one we're talking about. And right there where it looks like he should be holding something, like he's holding, there was a turkey leg. That's the one I remember with the turkey leg. And it may be a different one with the turkey leg, but I remember the turkey leg. Um, yeah, it's it's very it's very strange. Oh, we I, will. This one, I believe I you you put some up, Katina, and I didn't read them all because I wanted to see if they were in this uh, article first. But we will get to that one if it is not, because uh, Katina Martin sent me a bunch of them, which I truly truly uh, appreciate. Um. Oh, free folks says she used to say yeah, but she used to say even though that's past tense, the phrase she said to him. Was present tense. To future. Yeah, at the, yeah, at the time that yeah, she wasn't talking in the past when she was talking to him. Right, she was talking in the present. So yeah. I understand why people, but that's another one that's like what? Uh, many Mash viewers remember the death of one of the main lovable characters, Colonel Walter Radar O'Reilly, portrayed by actor Gary Berghoff. However, the character remained alive and well until this his send off episode in season eight of the series. I that I one. Don't... I, I don't remember that. Who is at all? Colonel Walter, was that the first radar? That that was the the guy with the glasses. That is radar. The, you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's radar. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, he was the he was the little little fellow, the go the goofy looking one. Oh, he was okay. I I don't remember him ever dying off. Um, no, they might be um, misremembering the um, the their, the original colonel. Their original yeah. colonel, and who the hell was radar a colonel? No. I mean, he might have been promoted at the end, but yeah, no, no way. there's no way in that he was a colonel. This is another one that messed me up. JFK's car assassination. Uh, even if you're too young to remember the tragedy in real time, which I am, you're probably seen footage of the assassination. Right. We all have. There is a common misremembering uh, that there were only four passengers in the car. The truth is the total number of passengers in the car were six. Six. Yeah. I remember yeah. six because there was... The driver, there was the security in the front seat, there was the um, uh, governor and his wife, and then JFK and his missus. That's how okay. I remember it. Well, actually, to be fair, I played a game. Um, it's called Assassinate JFK, where you play yeah. as, as um, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, and you've got to make that exact same shot. Okay. Um, so I've, I've, I've seen that plenty of times. So I know there's definitely six, because there's a, an achievement you can get if you get all six of them. Okay. So, oh, well, that's kind of sounds disturbingly wrong and awesome. It's it's it's, it's uh, much harder than the um uh what do you call it John Wilkes Booth one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that one is tough. That one's tough. I I always thought it was only a two seater or a four seater, but I guess it is a six seater with three rows. Am I correct? Um, on that? Yeah, it's it was a stretch thing. Uh, yeah. I think. Okay. I mean that makes sense. I just maybe the footage, the way it's shot, you only remember the senator getting shot through and then, or the gov, wait a minute. Yeah, the governor and then Kennedy getting hit. So they only showed like those two. Um, but I always thought it was just a uh, pass, four passenger, like a two seater. Yeah. No, I know it was, I know it was a custom one. Uh, yeah. Because the, the, what, the, the doors, the doors on the back opened up opposite ways to each other. Yeah. Yeah, Southern Bell, Bell, seven, 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 seven. Yeah, Radar didn't. It was Colonel. You're absolutely right. Um, I wasn't counting the passengers. I was watching the president head explode. <laughs> he was a corporal. Thank you. Yeah, corporal. through a scope. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we need to figure that one. I think Plymouth and Jamestown, early 1600s. Yeah, I know. We still he won, though, Keck. <laughs> Uh, did Han shoot first? He did. Definitely shot first. Yeah, I, I can remember that clearly. I... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, never going to misremember that one. Um, His story arc doesn't work if he doesn't shoot first. See, Katina says, I only remember four. To me, the middle row of seats was not there. Same here, Katina. Same here. But I can understand why I might not have noticed. Because it was the, it was the, the governor and his wife. So would all three of them be sitting in the front seat with the driver? You know what I mean? So that's why I must misremember. That one I misremembered. Um, uh, have, has anyone mentioned about um, uh, We Are the Champions by Queen? Yes. Um, that's a, that's one that's tough for a lot of people. What do you think? Yeah, that was one that... Um, 
because I, I I still remember at ends of the world, but I went and had a listen to it yesterday, and yeah, mm-hmm. it, 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 that's right. Like um, also another one with um, oh, what's the Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah, we haven't um, got to that one yet. So okay. let's yeah, but that one I actually asked the guys at work how it ends, and they all said of the world. And one guy literally went, because it's like we're in a shop, so you have to go to get service. He went like on the other side of the shop, and he came back. He's like, dude, just listen to this song. It ends of the world. I was like, wow, it does? And he played it for us, and it's like, and we are the champions. And he's like, what the? It changed by the time I came over here. He was dead serious. It was so funny. That's crazy. Um, So as a kid, I always remembered this. Lucy, you've got some splaining to do. Uh, we never actually, uh, was never actually said on the iconic, I love Lucy. The people who remember the famous catchphrase by Lucy's husband, Ricky Ricardo, um, might be living in a different universe. Instead, Ricky was filmed saying, splain that if you can Lucy splain. I re- I love how they put splain. Um, I remember Lucy, you've got you some, got some splaining splaining to, to do. do. Yeah. Now, that might be from a, a comic bit, but I remember it. Uh, as a kid, I thought, you know, these are some of them. Like, I understand people say it's misremembering, but how could people like ourselves on different sides of the world misremember it the same way? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's the, that's that's the unique thing about it. They put it down to like a, like a mass confusion or a mass hypnosis, hysteria, mm-hmm. whatever they want to call it, because that just says, oh, these things happened to multiple people and we can't explain it. Yeah, this is another one that screwed me up. Uh Cruella's last name. So it's, it's a common misconception that her last name is spelled Deville, which I always thought D E V I L L E instead of Deville, which yeah, is like, the, I always yeah. thought it was devil. Yeah. Devil. You know? Yeah. I just, I didn't realize that, uh, double stuff Oreos versus double stuff Oreos. Maybe we were just busy dunking our favorite after school cookie and in, into an ice cold glass of milk to notice that there isn't actually a second F on the double stuff Oreo package. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, me neither. I mean, but, we never really had them. So right. Yeah. You guys are, I feel sorry for you guys. Um, meet the Flintstones, even though you have probably been pronouncing or singing their theme song, uh, of the name of this beloved animation, animated family as the Flint Flynn stones, the actual name of the prehistoric family is Flint Stones. I remember the spelling the first way, but I always thought their name was the Flint. No, because I'm saying now I say Flint Stones, but I think as a kid I always said Flint Stones. Huh? Yeah, that one. That's weird. I don't. That looks weird. The spelling. It does now that I look at it that way. Yeah. Anybody? No, I. Uh, I yeah, that one. That's I'm googling it now, just to be sure. <laughs> I love it. The conservative dog goes. I'm pulling up the article. Wait for twenty. Wait till number twenty-two. We're almost there, bro. I love that you guys are involved that much that you brought up the article. If you guys want to follow along, I'll share the article in the chat. That's kind of cool idea. Thank you. I wish I thought of that. I'm gonna say I thought of that, conservative dog. Um, yeah, put it in the chat, guys. Check it out. So we're going on now to Smokey and the Bear. This one, again, I thought was weird. Some. I said, and the bear, like the movie. Some may think that Smokey the bear is the actual name of the famous bear, uh, informing us of preventing forest fires. But actually, the ranger bear is simply named Smokey Bear. That's bull. Yes, yeah. We don't have that out there. All I know is secondhand things. And when anyone has ever mentioned that, they always say it's Smokey the bear. I can't tell you I've ever seen it as, remember... Remember, you can only f- stop forest fires. That's from Smokey the Bear. I just, that's screwed up. Uh, 50 Nifty United States. Most of us can recall learning about the 50. If they tell me we don't have 50 states, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, that so blossom, have 52. Oh, yeah. That's, well, what? Yeah. From 13 original colonies. However, most people swear about learning about 51 or 52. Yeah, that's what we we were taught 52 at school, and then... um, Is it because of our territories? No. um, Or a deck of cards? I have no idea, yeah. But yeah, Mm. then, you know, as an adult, you find out there's actually 50 states. Yeah, 50 states. That one, I'm glad I never got wrong. And like 13 territories, I think, or 12, something like that. Yeah, there's a bunch of territories. We have, you know, uh, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Guam. 
Yeah, because each each star represents a state, and each yes. stripe represents a uh, territory. No, that the the stripes no. represent the original thirteen colonies. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Yep. Yeah, the territories is not the stripes. It's our original thirteen colonies. I don't want to see twenty two till we get to it. This one messed me up. I always remember a like a fancy Kit Kat, um, like a hyphen. And they're saying it was never there. Uh, let's see. Images. So I always remember Kit Kat with uh, a hyphen in the middle. Yeah, dude, I'm looking this up as well. And it, it, the packet doesn't look right. It doesn't look right without it, dude. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if it has... If we just do it this way. Because people have had them with it. Um, I'm going to put spelled right. Yeah. It's weird that I can't find one that shows it with, uh, with it, but I've seen pictures of people that probably printed them up themselves, but doesn't that look weird? That looks weird without the hyphen, man. Yeah. I found one with it. Okay. But sure. That looks, looks weird as well. I think, no, I think it's an edit. Okay. Never mind. It is an edit. That's just weird. Uh, yeah. Kit Kat with oh, with the dash we'll put. Yeah, see, so it's been see, searched a lot. That's I remember, how I remember it looking it. like this. No, see, because our, our ones in Australia are like that first one on the left-hand side. This one? Yeah, that's what ours look like. Okay, I remember it laying over the top of the other K. Like, I don't remember it spread apart yeah, we don't like have that. that. We, we don't have that packaging here. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess it's always been like this packaging, though. the Without the hyphen. So That's we've never so had the hyphen. Weird. Isn't that weird? There are a couple of them that I'm like, I know it's most likely mismemoring, but to me it's like, is it really mismemoring? You know? Um, let's see. I want to get to 22. <laughs> All right. So, no, go ahead. What were you going to say? Well, I'm just saying, like, for that one, that's weird because it's not something that I'd, I'd talked about. I've never even heard of that one. Okay. Um, And then when you said it's spelt differently, and I went, and they said the dash without a dash. I'm like, no, no, it's got a dash. Do, do people remember it wrong? And then I looked at it and went, wait, no, I remembered it wrong. Oh, okay. That's what I don't get. Like, that's yeah, nuts. Yeah, it is nuts. What's this What's this color? Uh, Chartreuse? Yeah, I would not know if it was pink magenta or green yellow. So I guess people thought it was pink med magenta, but in reality it's green yellow. Okay. All right, 22. Yeah. Oh man, I I've heard of this one. Uh, you probably sang along with Mr. Rogers as he opened his show with this lovable theme song. Most former kids remember him singing, "It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood," but the lyrics actually go like, "It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood." So what is he saying that other neighborhoods aren't nice? I... Well, in his neighborhood, they use they use the power of imagination. Ah, um, so it is beautiful. And it, yeah, I mean it's Pittsburgh. Let's see. Hey y'all, have my intro sequence. And uh, everyone watched this as a kid. And then just coming up here, I guess to walk into his house. Channel 56. So thank you, 56. Uh, I think it's coming up here. Um, okay, here we go. I used to uh, love this nope. show. Um, yeah, I only, I only found okay, out about this maybe okay, a year or two ago. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. This neighborhood? That blows my mind. Who, who, who's going back in time and changing little small things? Or, or is these just See, like a like a weird side effect or something? Well, like, that's what I think it is. If it is anything, it's a weird... Is this the right one? Uh, it's a weird side effect. So... I, Go ahead. I have I have I have a theory when it comes to the reason why people remember it. I think it's kind of like when you um you drop a stone in in the water mm -hmm. and, it, and it has ripples. Yes. Depending on where you are from when it had changed depends on how much of the old that that you remember. Well, that's why I say like certain ones, it's certain age groups that remember it differently. Like yeah. you might get people old, like not like you get baby boomers, like real baby boomers, not remembering it. Or they because remember it, it the same way as millennials, but Gen Xers remember it differently. Yeah, something, yeah, something like that. Like, say, for instance, people who were born um, in the seventies and eighties remembered it one way, but whatever happened was changed in the nineties. Right. right. 
So then everyone born after that goes, no, that's the way it's always been. Right. And I get it. I know he's talking about his neighborhood, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I, that, that, that sounds... I'm not saying it sounds a little bit racist or anything, but right. it, it does sound it a does. little bit like, yeah, well, this one, but not the one over there. Like, Right. But, Wouldn't you think he would mean, like, worldwide? Like, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Like, yours included. Well, what if you, you say the neighborhood, it also includes this neighborhood. That's the weird thing. Yes, you're right. Weird, man. Yeah, because I didn't know I didn't know who he was until I think Epic Rap Battles of History did a did, did a rap with uh, uh, with him in it, and then when I was asking who it was, people were like, "Oh, he's like the Bob Ross of um, children's oh, programs." Best. Well, your kid probably watches Daniel Tiger, right? No. Oh, really? No, that's based on Mister Rogers. So Daniel Tiger is based completely on the Mister Rogers original show, which I grew up with. I loved it. Uh, Mister Rogers was truly. A one of a kind man, one of a kind, actual good human being. I've never heard a bad story about him. The only, the, the, actually, I did hear a thing a little while ago about when they had the segregating um, African Americans from not being able to swim in the pool. Yes. He had his the his mailman, and they shared a a little wading pool together. Yeah, yep. yeah. I do, I do know about that. I, he, but yeah, he I didn't know what guy. that was. Yeah, he was an amazing guy. If you have kids today, like young kids, go to Google and find old episodes. And watch them with your kids. He is just so positive. It's worth it. Uh, the memes of destruction for $5. Met memes up in uh, Boston. Really, really, really smart human being. And he was nice enough to make me feel like we both didn't know I didn't know it. You know, like we played it off like I knew what he was talking about because he's so smart. He was nice to do that. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, quantum entangled material exactly. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. He's, and he and was, he's, like, yeah, he's like, yeah, brother, I, I can feel you with that. Yeah. yeah, he was so passionate about it, too. I didn't want to interrupt. Um, Wait, what's the Mandela effect? So, Wouldn't it be man weird if you remember the Mandela effect wrong? You know, yeah, there's, right? there's tens, There's tens of millions of people who think the Mandela effect was actually thinking a, a, about a dead president. Yeah. That, that no, president, and they it. thought it specifically meant that. Like, no, that's what it means. I remember learning right. about this. Well, it was coined after uh, a yeah, paranormal... 2000, 2013, yeah. I think. So was what... she was a paranormal researcher, and she realized that a lot of people, after the death of Mandela in 2012, 2013, he you know, got out of prison, became president, and passed away very elderly age. A lot of people misremembered and remembered news clips of him dying in prison in the late 80s. Um, well, see... I, I can I, I can remember something about when he got released and I and I remember saying um, to my mom and that I thought he died in prison and right. it was like oh apparently he didn't right and I can understand if it was like that time frame but the guy became the president of you know of South Africa he was known all over the world for many years to come yeah found it's, the Invictus it, games and everything yeah like. it, it blows my mind that people misremember that yes. Uh, Mr. Roger was a Vietnam Marine sniper and he wore his long sleeve shirts all the time because he cover he was covering up his tattoos. Yeah, Mr. Rogers was a badass people. A badass. Um the best episode of the X Files revival seasons was specific Oh, really? About the Mandela effect. Yeah, oh, I, I remember check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we could do that all day. This is another one that got me. Um, Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter in Silence of the Lamb. In the iconic scene, Hopkins greets Jodie Foster, who plays Carice. Uh, some people swear that he greeted her with, and I oh, I did it for years, and a lot of people blame it on um, Jim Carrey or somebody else, but I remember him saying, hello, Carice. But yeah, I think it was uh, like Hot Shots or one of those parody yeah, ones. But that did actually, it. Yeah. all he said was good morning. It doesn't sound as good. It does not sound like Hannibal Lecter. Next thing you're going to tell me, he didn't invite an old friend over for dinner. Right, right. You know what I mean? Um, Risky Business. I used to love that movie. Um, it was one of those movies as a young boy, you got to see boobs. Um, making for a great last minute Halloween costume, Tom Cruise's, uh, Cruise plays in a legendary scene in the film Risky Business where he's depicted dancing in nothing but a button down shirt his tidy whities and a pair of sunglasses and socks. I remember socks. However, in the scene, in contrary to popular belief, Cruz is not wearing sunglasses. 
I think he, he rips him off. I thought he ripped yeah, him I off. Yeah, I thought I thought he had him and then he when he slides, yeah. turns around and then pulls him pulls him off. Them off. I mean, the, his sunglasses are like a big part of that movie. Like he I mean, it's one of the only person. few scenes where he's not running, so we right. would remember it. Right. That damn crystal egg. Um, yeah, that's a weird one. I didn't that's know it. this one. I'm so glad I'm finding ones I didn't know about. Yeah, I, I never heard this one. Google this. Yeah, Google that one, and we'll bring it up after I read this one. Um, people misremember uh, C-3PO. Uh, is depicted to some as being all gold in the original s- movies. But if you take a closer look, he had a silver leg below the knee. Now, I I know it is like that now, but I always, I never noticed it as a kid, the silver leg. Yeah. See, I think that's more to do with the fact that the quality of how, how we, you were viewing it. Yeah. You the, know, via VHS and all that. And yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not very sharp and contrasty. And oh my God, he's not wearing his glasses. Right. That yeah. that's that's wrong. He's not. Can you show it? N- All right. Give me a sec. Yeah. If this is in this one too, I don't know if it's in the article, but Kirk never saying beam me up, Scotty. But uh That's a hard one to believe. Yeah. I've heard someone bring that up though, so I'm gonna see it. If it's one of the best fifty, it has to be in here. Um so the next Just one. Just sharing my screen now. Okay. All right. Um, oh, didn't put the bloody. Da, da. Hey, Punk Waddle. What's up, bro? All right. You ready? Right. Yep. Oh, uh, I've got to mute it because it's got the yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. copyright Please music. Do. Wait a minute. Was that him sliding in? Yeah. He didn't have it, huh? That's so weird. So. I, I remember him having it so weird okay well that's that's pretty funky um we'll go on to the next then cheese it's or cheese it's um the name Neither of the brand is cheese it's without the z i don't think i remember a z uh cheese it's are delicious okay this is the one that katina was talking about remember in the lord of the rings when gandalf tells frodo and the rest of the crew run you fools before his dramatic fall, truth is the wise he, wizard is actually he says saying, fly, fly, yeah, fly you, fools. you. Yeah. yeah, no, I remember fly you fools. We all say run, but it is fly you fools. Yeah, but dude, I had to rewatch it because I was like, no, he says run because they're running, and I rewatched it. When they say it, it felt a little weird at first, but then I was like, yeah, it must have been fly the whole time. But that's one like Katina like swears like no way. Um, no, see, because I I used to say that all the time. Because I love that, I love that line from the film. Right. I was saying, yeah. Right. So, so there you go. Maybe, maybe the epicenter was somewhere near where we're used to. Uh... <laughs> Cruz puts on the sunglasses later in the dance. Oh, oh, yeah, he has to. But they're saying he didn't have them at all. I don't know. Um, where is Cinderella's castle? Some Disney f- uh, fanatics think that Cinderella's castle is right near the entrance to Disney World. However, the iconic fairy tale castle is just beyond the iconic main street of Magic Kingdom. That one, I would assume it is. Yeah, I, I, I've never been, but I mean, it makes sense that the yeah. castle would be in Magic Kingdom. Right. Um, despite the many com- controversial controversy surrounding uh, Da Vinci's famous painting, one stands out among the rest. Some art history buffs swear that Mona Lisa herself had more clear smile painted on her face than the one she does now. Okay. Well, she's not even smiling now. That's the, for me, yeah, it's the weird she, thing. I remember. She's supposed to have like a little bit of a turn. I remember learning at school the reason why this painting was controversial and it ended up thinking because it was one of the first depicting someone actually smiling because no one used to smile back then when it came to portraits. They had to be very right. stoic and everything like that. Right. And I can clearly remember a smile, like a smirk. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a very small smirk. Sorry, I muted myself. Yeah. Um, I where was it? I just saw someone put Sorry, it. Sorry, I'm I, just looking at the pictures and that now. Like it's so weird that. Well, good, while you're doing that, Godzillionaire, I blame Cerns too. I I truly think if this is real, and I'm not saying it is, but if it is is real, and I'm not misremembering, you know, a 46 year old guy who did a lot of drugs for a long time, misremembering might be a true thing. But um, if it is, I believe Cerns, you know. 
when you're smashing particles at like light speed together and not knowing what's going to happen, eh, you can put a little rip in time and space. Well, they in 2013 is when they discovered the Higgs boson particle. Right. Um, and everything which they uh, up until that point was theoretical and also the same year was when the Mandela effect was came into prominence. Oh so, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um Soul Assassin agrees cool. Yeah. Okay, why don't we put up a poll? What do you think is the cause of Mandela effect? Mass misremembering, misremembering, CERN, nuclear testing. I don't believe in it at all. Brie Larson. Oh. Brie, yeah, Brie Larson. What's up, Nick McCabe? See, I thought his name was Sam all this time. Mandela Effect. His name is Nick. See, dude. you know the worst thing about it is, dude, I I swear I remember him with curly hair. Yeah, like, I just, I'm telling you, I always thought his name was Sam McCabe, but it's actually Nick. Mandela Effect. Confirmed. That's crazy. Um, Here comes another one. The Fruit of the Loom logo. Do you remember the Fruit of the Loom logo stitched onto the back of your undies? If you recall a cornucopia with fruit spilling out of it, you may be living in a... Yeah, I remember it. I guess it's just a pile of fruit, but I remember the cornucopia. The horn. I remember that, you know, with my so, little tidy whities when I was a kid. Wait, what? It's just fruit? It's just fruit in a pile. That makes no sense to me. See, I thought it was about how it was spelled because I people think it's I I when other people think it's it's U I yeah how it's actually spelled like yeah that's weird and I I uh, understand Chrono says caused by countless parodies of things on TV I understand that but you're telling me Kirk never said beam me up Scotty I mean I always thought the whole phrase was beam me up Scotty there's no intelligent life down here or something like that no the the no intelligent life down here that was a um uh. Jim Carrey parodied that in uh, Ace Ventura. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't think I think I don't think it's beam me up, Scotty. I think it's Scotty beam me up. Okay. Or something like that. Maybe it's not even beam. There you go. Yeah. Um Well, okay. This is another one. We have Fruit Loops here. I always thought it was spelled fruit, like Fruit Loops, but I guess it's always with two O's. Fruit Loops. That makes no freaking yeah. sense to me. Sense to me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, OO versus. That's weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm saying, like. Because the O's are the actual. The O's are the actual um, Fruit Loops themselves. Right. I think. Or, yeah. So, I, I don't even, I didn't even know anymore. Abe Vagoda. Yeah. Um, he. Uh, yeah. He's uh, a uh, sellout in The Godfather, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fredo. Yeah. Yeah. He di- no, 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 not Fredo. Not Fredo. No, he's the, uh, in the very first Godfather, he is the one that sells out the family. He's an older guy. Um, here, oh, that's I'll, right, yeah. I'll get a picture of him. Uh, just so everybody can see, I'll put it right over this one so I don't have to reshare. That's a Bogota. He was yeah, in he the died? Godfather. Wait, I thought he died in like 2006. Uh, he died in 2016, but that's the thing. People are remembering different decades, but all about the same year, like always the six, I believe. That's why I, that's some people thought weird. he died in 06, 96. Um, kind of weird one. Okay, Sally Fields' um, Oscar acceptance speech. You like me. You really like me was the line in Sally Fields' award acceptance speech that we all thought we reheard. In reality, she says, I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Yeah, you really like Yeah, you right now, you really like me. I thought it was. Or was it just you like me? I time? always just thought, you like me. You really like me. Because that one sounds... See, once again, Jim Carrey parodied that thing in yeah. the mask. Here's the Henry VIII one. I'm telling you, dude. There is one with a turkey leg, and it's that picture. Whose uh, channel is this? Res- uh... All right, wow, these guys are Wait, all on. What, what, what was the other option? We've got CERN. We've got CERN nuclear testing. You don't believe in what was the other one? Uh, CERN, atomic testing, like at- nuclear bomb testings in the 50s and 60s. Um, you don't believe in it. Misre- you- uh, mass misremembering. Mass mass misremembering. Okay. Uh, I thought Louis Anderson just died recently. 
I think he just died. Louis Anderson. Yeah, January 21st, 2022. He just died. So Mandela effect even more. Um, let's see. Yeah, Ventura screwed us all up. Yeah, you know what? The way she says it now that I read it that way, like it used to be like this cute, adorable, you like me, you really like me. Now I hear it as, I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Like, it just doesn't sound like she would say it that way, but okay. And she's shaking her head the entire time when she's doing it as well. Yeah. So some historians, historians swear up and down that there is a portrait that exists with the medieval king of England holding a turkey leg. However, the turkey leg ceases to exist. So why are we confused by that one? We're going to take a look. Why did someone go back in time and like, you know, not kill a turkey in time? Or maybe they went and interrupted the cooks. Right. They wanted to meet Henry VIII and they accidentally went into the kitchen. The guy's like, get out. They burnt the turkey leg and you can't have that with Henry VIII. So he, he didn't have the photo with it. Right. Um, he's not eating a turkey leg. He's just holding it in the picture I've seen. Um, so I've, I've, there, there are pictures of it out there, but it's not exactly how I remember it. See, I want to see if it's how I remember it. Okay. So these are all fakes, of course, but I am going to share it, and I'll probably look through it and see which one is the closest to what I remember. So it was not a small turkey leg, first off. It was a quite a large turkey leg. Now, I can't remember if it looked like that or if he was holding it down no, no, he there. Was, he was holding, he he was holding, holding it, down, it down, there. down there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how I remember it. And it was a good-sized turkey leg. Like, yeah, it was, big, it was bigger than that. That's just yeah, a little drum. Yeah. yeah, that's a little drum. It was like a huge drum, the one I, I, used to think, I used to think turkey legs were like, like the size of my leg, ginormous right. sort of things. Right. right. So what is he holding? You said it's an actually there's one with him holding. Yeah, it's a it's a royal blade. So it has the curved ha ha handle of his um uh like but dagger. One... It looks like. Oh, that's a different picture altogether. Okay, I was gonna say I don't remember that at all. Uh, holding. Okay, nope. All right, we'll, we'll stop with that. All right, let's get back to the article. Uh, oops, went too far. Okay, let's get back down to where we were. We were after good old Henry. Uh, did I, nope. All right, Henry VIII, so I don't know. Uh, Patrick Swayze's cancer battle? The talented actor who uh, dirty danced his way into our hearts, Patrick Swayze, or kicked ass his way in, outsiders uh, roadhouse succumbed, roadhouse too yes succumbed to pancreatic cancer in 09 however there are numerous people who say that they distinctly remember reading hearing about the actor beating the cancer and recovering see michael douglas recovered around the same yeah. time as that sway so died. that's probably and they both look like death um so yeah that's that's probably where that is yeah so I, all right i'll ask this question after we're done I'm going to ask it after we read all 50. Uh, Curious George, he doesn't have a tail. Oh, yeah, he's, the monkey. Yeah, yeah, he's tailless. I That one it could be either or. I don't care. Um, a lot of people remember the Challenger blowing up in January, uh, but they don't remember the year. Many believe it happened in 84 or 85. I remember it 86 because I was 10 years old when it happened, so I do remember that year being the year. Um, can I tell you an interesting story about yeah, that? Yeah, please do. Uh, a mutual friend of ours, uh, George Molo, um, yes. was doing a, a little news segment for his school um, where he was reviewing movies. Um, and he did a little little segment where he, I can't remember what the movie that he was he, um, he was reviewing, but he said he, this movie might as well have been made from NASA the way that it crashes and burns. Um, a week Say later... Say that again? He said the movie the movie might as well have been created by NASA because of the way oh, in which it crashes okay. and burns. Okay. Um, something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, a, a week later, a representative from NASA came to the school to talk to him about it. 
and he wasn't allowed to to make any more because it was a week after the Challenger accident. Where where the hell did he go to school? That someone from NASA dropped in. That's yeah, crazy. That it is insane. George isn't a BSer either, so I believe. No. It. Wow. Okay, this is one I don't know if I know the I know the Lindbergh baby case. I remember their their baby was kidnapped and never recovered. Um, Charles Lindbergh, twenty month old baby, was abducted in thirty two. It became a widespread media sensation, even though a child's remains were found a mere two months later, and the killer was later convicted and put on death row. Many people still speculate that the case is not yet solved. Well, because the they were murderers, they were like immigrants, two immigrants that I think just got. Nailed for it, wasn't it? Or was it, am I thinking of the spies? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, what they're saying is how I remember hearing about it. Yeah. So maybe maybe the change happened before I was born. Yeah. So a lot of people believe that Mother Teresa was can- canonized while she was alive in the 90s by Pope John Paul II. I couldn't tell you. We all thought no. she was a saint. Maybe that's why people think that. No, you can only become a saint after death. Right. So Because okay. you have to perform two miracles. Right. After you've passed right. for it to happen. Well, it doesn't have to be after, I thought. It had to be with oh, during yeah. well, or usually, after. Usually, usually it is within it because if they go yeah. up and say, did you do this miracle? And they go, uh, no. Yeah. Well, tell me about this miracle that you did. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that one I, I wouldn't fight. Neil Armstrong's death. He may have been the first man to walk on the moon, but a large number of people don't remember Neil's Neil Armstrong's death. That's because he was a very private man. It seems that many people seem to have forgotten that the moon man passed away in uh, 2012. Um, yeah, just before the they found Higgs boson. Hmm, coincidence? Mm, coincidence? I think not. Um, I would love. I wish there if there's uh, like a couple people in history, if I could like get five people truth serums. He'd be one of them because when he came back, he was the most uncomfortable in any interview he did and left like cryptic interviews, like things he said in interviews about the moon landing, which we'll go over in one of our episodes, uh, you know, certain conspiracies and why they are. And one of them will be the moon landing or the moon in general. Um, This is one that messed me up, dude. Ed McMahon. Now, this is probably an American thing. We have this thing, Publishers well, we, Clear. Yeah, you guys have it? Yeah. Oh, but you have Publishers Clearinghouse? Um, no, but okay. we, he did He did come to He did come to Australia, and I do distinctly remember him giving out giant novelty checks. Right. So it's vivid in my mind. Uh, the big check, the balloons, chances are you're not the only one. However, the Tonight Show sidekick never made any such house calls. He endorsed the American Family Publishers, which was a rival sweepstakes, Dude, no, and never, never once appeared on camera for it. That's bullshit. See, Sorry. The, the the weird thing about it is there was a uh, a TV series like mm-hmm. a special sort of thing where it, the the whole thing was a fake one. Okay. This girl had to essentially pretend that she won all this money from the the um the sweepstake or whatever it was called, um, and essentially spend it all on herself without spending anything on her family. Um, and if she did that, then she was gonna, she was actually gonna get some actual money for it for everyone. Oh, really? Um, and he was there and he had a big chunk. I, I remember that vividly. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that is crazy. So, Jake, I, the moon landing, of course, again, I will cover things that I might not believe, but I find interesting. Just the conspiracy or whatever it is in itself. Um, they definitely reshot stuff. You could prove it in footage. Um, but we'll talk about that. Maybe we'll do the moon next week. Uh, let me know with uh, uh, another poll if we're done with the other one. Um, we have 38 people watching. Holy cow. 38 people watching this show with 41 likes. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody. If you haven't hit like, please hit it now. And share this out. If you know somebody, I'm going to be doing this every week until House of the Dragon. And then most likely I'll have to stop this stream and do House of the Dragon uh, coverage unless I go on somebody else's channel Sunday nights yellow symbol so, with the nerd glasses uh, I, I've got a picture but I'm not 100% certain it's legitimacy or if, it's, if I'm even remembering the right person that's Ed McMahon yep okay we all remember it that's a TV person though that other person's an actress maybe that was in a show 
Huh. I don't know. Uh, that's a hmm. tough one. Uh, many say Sporks was the host, but we see Mads. <laughs> Mad is the host. Yeah, Wednesday Night Dump is Mad. It's a Mad Dump. He wants to call it something different. It's a Mad Dump. Um, on Wednesday nights, don't blame me. I told him he only had 25% power. He's taking a little bit more. Um, and that's okay because he's helping me out. So if you guys are not subscribed to Mad Mardigan, uh, hopefully we can get his link into the into the chat and please subscribe to him. And when you do, like, put on one of his comments. I only subbed for Spork. Um, that'll really grind his grindery. Um, let's see. What if House of the Dragon sucks? There's a good chance. There's a good chance. Uh, we'll see. I might turn this in, um, into until after House of the Dragon. This most likely will be a members, um, a one hour member stream on Saturdays, which we will be having a member streams this Saturday. Mark that. I'll have to mark that too. So it'll start at like 7 or 7.15 Saturday for an hour. Uh, and you guys will be able to choose a topic for the dump that night. All right. Uh, so thank so, you guys. Yeah. I've got another one that I don't know how real that is. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. Can you pop on the uh, picture itself? Um, yeah, I won't let me download the picture for some reason. Dude, all I know is this. I remember him for years doing Publishers Clearinghouse. Years. So, like, and now you're telling me he never was on screen doing it. That's weird. I've never heard of America Family Publishers. So, it's not like I'm confusing the two. Um, yeah, this one blows my mind. Baron Stain Bears. Um... I've always it's, remembered it as Steen, Baron Steen Bears. Well, see, that's the weird thing. Whenever, whenever we heard hold heard on, about this, it was all. Mama yeah. Spork, what you're do you? Still, you're still talking about Mansion. I'm still talking about it. For years, I've been talking about. It. What do you believe, Stain or Steen? Steen. She believes Stain, but she's younger than me. That's well, see, right. that's that. that what? Uh, just Mama. Different ages remember things differently when you're a little bit younger. That's my girl. All right, go ahead. Um. See over here when when we had the book, we always it was always pronounced um, uh, Stein. Um, Stein. Well, you guys yeah. are Australian. Because yeah, E I N is like Stein, like Einstein, like it's that's the way. Yeah. I swear we there's ones with Steen, and people show that they have like old copies with Steen, but it could always be a misprint or something. I don't know. Uh. No, there's more than 17 likes, buddy. There's uh, 42 likes. So thank you. But yeah, he's right. Keep hitting like. I love you, Jake. Um, Nick says, oh, God, I'm sick of being disappointed. I so want things to work out and be I'm missing something. And that uh, the House of the Dragon, I'm assuming. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, dude, talented actors. Uh, at least, you know, I kind of like that they're not well known except for Patty. Um I like that they're starting a little, well, unless it's going to be a lot of flashbacks, we will see more into uh, the series, the first rule, which is important. So I, I hope it's decent, but if I, look, I'm, I'm covering it, but I want my book. <laughs> I want my book. That's the most important thing. Um, yeah. Gremlins. Ooh, where's uh, Tom when you need him? Uh, the Gremlins movie was released in 84 and has become a cult classic, but even some of the most avid fans still swear that the name of the Gremlin was Spike, but the actual name of the villainous creature was Strip. Stripe? No, I remember what? Spike. Spike? I remember it was Spike. Spike. Stripe. Just because he had the stripe of hair, like the Mohawk? We all called him Spike. That's weird. But he that also was Spiky. <laughs> yeah, dude, that one's weird. Okay, so where is New Zealand? I always, if I'm looking at Australia, so imagine you're looking at it right now. I believe, I always thought New Zealand was I am was looking in at the, Australia. Okay, so if you are, it's in the northeast. Like a northeast of Australia. No. So that's messed up. It's yeah, Matt, Matt, even, Matt even reckons it, that. But no, it's, um yeah, it's on the south side. It's, it's actually lower in parts than Australia is. That's crazy. Um, I was, literally, I had this one brought up here a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's so cr- that's crazy. Uh, also, Looney Tunes is spelled T U N E S, not T O O N S. But Tunes is like cartoon. Yeah, that's that's the okay, weird. Okay, hold part. on one second. We have an update. Twenty seven. We have twenty seven Berenstein Bear books. Berenstein. Berenstein. And they all say Berenstein. The twenty seven all but say not Berenstein. Only that, The Jan and Stan Berenstain. That's their, their last, last name. name. Maybe they changed it. Well, so here's the thing. I think we got definitive proof that your wife is a spy. She is a spy, guys. Yeah. She uh, she's working for the. Uh... Oh, have you watched on Netflix the Mike Myers Pentaveret show or what movie or series? No. I... Did you start watching it? Yes. How much have you watched? I'm almost done. Oh, damn it. I was going to say, let's watch it together because I only watched part of. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was because I only. You never want to watch Oh, here we go. Me. This is very personal right now. We're going to be watching uh, on Friday night. What is it again? On Apple TV? Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. But anyway, Pentaveret or Penta. It, it actually goes back to uh, a movie he did, How I Married Your Axe. Uh, How I Married an Axe Murderer. And he yeah, plays, yeah, because that was he mentioned yes. about the five people that rule the world. Yes, called yeah. uh, yes, the Queen, the Vatican, yeah. the God, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, and the Colonel before he went belly up. Ooh, I hated the Colonel with his wee beady eyes. Um, so he made a movie or a TV series about it, where he plays all five, four of the five characters, and it's uh, one of the peels and uh, the. So- Peel that's, and peel that's or whatever those weird guys are. thing with him. He's, it's either going to be absolutely brilliant or completely dog shit terrible. It's, there is no middle ground with him. Well, it is definitely old school Mike Myers, but what I've watched so far, I like. And my wife seems to like it. And it's so I married an So I married an axe murderer. You're right. Yeah, it's a great movie. There she goes. There she goes again. She hates that song. I sing it to her a lot. I don't know why that reminds me of Dawson's What's Creek. Ta- 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 Tal Bachman. She can't stand Tal. Um, Dawson's Creek. Why is that song in Dawson's Creek? I don't know why. It just reminds me of that. Oh. Actually, you know what it is? I what think is it? It's a Gilmore, Girls. Gilmore Girls. Oh, yeah, you're Mandela. That, yeah. yeah, you Mandela did. Yeah, yeah, my wife loved Gilmore. Yeah, she despises the song though. I love it though. Um, so mirror, mirror there, on the wall. There's a message on the screen for you. Oh, hold on. Uh, leave Mrs. Spork alone. She is correct. That is uh, from the Mrs. Sporks fan club. <laughs> <laughs> she liked that. She liked that. Thank you, Mrs. Sporks fan club, for being here. It was tunes because they were musical. Okay, I'll take that. Kill I thought the tunes because it was a cartoon. But they're tiny. They're all together, loony. A little uni. Uni. Eric K., what's up, brother? They're a little unique. Oh, yeah, okay. they're unics. Um, so I guess it's not mirror, mirror. It's magic mirror. So it's not two mirrors, which we all remember it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? It's magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? That's weird. Sounds yeah, see, better than mirror, mirror. I've, I've, I've looked into this one heaps that I actually don't remember what I initially thought. Yeah, it's weird. So yeah. Oh, I haven't heard this one. Tenement Square tank guy. Many people who were alive in the 80s remember the Tenement Square protests in China yeah. in 89 because they were protesting against communist China. I don't know if you guys know. Oh, thank God that's communist. stopped. Yeah. Oof. Uh, there was a specific incident of a man standing in front of an approaching tank and getting run over. However, the truth is the man did did approach the tank and got dangerous close to it, but he was forcibly removed from the path of the tank. I don't remember seeing either him being run over or being removed. Um I always remembered hearing that he got ran over, but I never saw the difference. No, I mean, I, I, I've seen that video a number of times. Um, mm-hmm. uh, strangely enough, in China, when you search for Tiananmen Square, that never comes up. Isn't that weird? Mm. That's weird. Um, yeah, mirror, mirror on the wall. None of us remember magic mirror on the wall. That just doesn't even sound right. Um, yeah, so that one's one I can understand why people see it. So Billy Graham's a big evangelist in America. Well, he was just passed away in February of 2018. Many people swear the they read he died decades ago. That I don't. Well, know. he had he had the whole thing when they were um, uh, when he was exposed. That was in the early 2000s. So maybe that's what they're remembering. That wasn't Billy Graham. I thought that was. Uh, I might Tammy be getting. Fab- uh, was I, the might, I might be getting my uh, 
Christian televangelist mixed yeah, up. Yeah, that was Tammy Faye and her husband. She had all the makeup. Um, yeah, and he had the earpiece. And, yeah. yeah. So Skechers, the famous footwear brand, may have been the latest trend in the early 90s, but or the yeah, the latest trend. But a lot of people do not know how to properly spell the company. Uh, while some believe it's Skechers, the truth is that doesn't have a T. Okay, whatever. So it's like the opposite of the Flintstones. Yeah, exactly. This one screwed me up. I swear it was Febreze like a breeze. They say there's only one E, so it's E-Z-E. I, I've Febreze? seen... Febreze? Yeah, it's Febreze. Febreze. It's from Breze. Um, that was the 50. Where, wait a minute. They're missing some good ones. I'll see if um, I can let, find another. Yeah, I'm going to go to my... Because my good friend... Tina, or I'm sorry, Katina Martin, where are you? There See, she I like is. The ones, I like the ones that involve movies, and yes. um, I was watching, I can't remember whose video it was the other day, I think it might have even been like just some just some guy, mm -hmm. and he mentioned something about a Mandela effect, and I was in the middle of like working, and I went, I'm going to check that as soon as I get home. Right. Um, but then I watched like 10 of his videos, mm -hmm. so I can't remember which one it is, and I can't be bothered going through all of them just for... Right. Well, here's some images. Okay, so it's Cap and Crunch, not Captain Crunch. Cap and Crunch. Cap okay. and Crunch. I, I thought it was Captain Crunch. Well, that's that's the, that's that is the abbreviation of Captain. So yeah, I still but, pronounce Captain Crunch, but was it always Cap N? No idea. We don't have it out here. Okay. So this is okay. Let's play the Mandela effect. Here we go. Which is correct? Uh, it's Cap N now, I guess. That is correct. Wow. God, you'll go to good memory. All right, let's ask everyone. What is Jigsaw's signature line in the Saw movie? Want to play a game? I um, want to play a game. Do you want to play a game? Do you want to play a game? No. What is he it? He says, I want to play a game. What? Yep. I thought it was a question. Wasn't it a question? Like, no, fuck off. Because it's like he's giving you the choice to do it. That's not. Okay, I don't know. Um, oh, this one gets me too. Is it white out, like the color white, or white out with just a W? I reckon it has to be without the H now. Right, but it, they said it never had the the H. I remember. Then, then, that doesn't make any sense because no. what is W I T E? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, pick the correct target logo. It's oh, that's this an easy one. one. That one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, God, I guess if I that would, was wrong, I would I would, I would have lost. I would have shut my hand. Which is an actual airline? Alaska Airlines or Alaskan Airlines? I thought it was Alaska. Okay, I would have gone Alaskan. All right. But... Oh, I was uh, right. You were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is the correct logo for Laughing Cow? He doesn't have a, a, a thing in his nose. Okay. I was yeah. going to say, because I have it upstairs. We can go look. Um, mother with just a T or TH Teresa? TH. No, that is wrong. What? Yeah. I swear, it literally said it in the last article we looked at. We might have to go back to that article. <laughs> oh, this is going Chuck E. Cheese, which I always thought it was, but I'm guessing it's Chuck and Cheese or Chuck E. Cheese. Wait a minute. Chuck E. Cheeses or Chuck E. Cheese? Ooh, I think it's Chuck E. Cheeses. Really? See, I, yeah. I've only ever heard of this Chuck and Cheese. Because so. it's his place. Oh, I'm right. Yeah. Um... What, what color we... is his nose? Oh. I don't remember it being blue, but I'm guessing well, that's he... it. It has to be blue because why else would they put the nostrils in like that? That's a weird way of putting the nostrils yeah, in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does Morpheus from The Matrix say, what if I told you everything you knew was a lie? Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe he doesn't word it exactly yeah, like that. Yeah, it's very similar. Go yes anyway. Okay. Yeah. No, he's, uh, all those memes were wrong. There wasn't even such a line in the movie. There's something compared to yeah. that line. Yeah, boy, that's weird. Oh, here it is. It, is it this knife thing? And he's holding like a glove or a turkey leg. Turkey leg. I'm still oh, putting turkey wrong. leg down. Yeah, I did. I did. Just in case it changed back. Which one's right for VW? Um... The one that doesn't have it um, disconnected, the full logo. You yeah. were wrong, sir. What? Mm-hmm. I guess there's a gap. I never noticed that myself. 
say, oh, look at that, and that looks wrong. Yeah, right? Okay, what is the predominant color on Uncle Sam's hat? I blue, want... isn't it? Yeah, I want to say it's blue. That's right. Yeah. Okay. What is the name of this singer? Barbara Streisand. Oh, okay. It's probably... I guess it's Barbara, Wait, not Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. I thought it was Barbara. She's, she, yeah, she's that pretentious. That she's yeah. that extra A. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, she left it out. Yeah. Um, Jiff or Jiffy? Well, we know it's Jiff, but Jiffy was the one I thought it was, and I didn't think it had that. Oh, yeah, I did think it had that color scheme. That's weird. Oh, there's more than 10 of these. Again, I know that's because of color contrast and VHS and stuff like that, but yeah, this one blows my mind. I thought well, it was actually it, they're both wrong because it, it it's it, there's no space between the. Oh D's yeah, there. you're right. It's one word. Yeah. Yay, we did great. Good job, buddy. Man, I'm so good at misremembering things. Yeah. All right, let's see if we have any ones that look a little different that we can go to Chick Fil A. Oh, that's another one. Um. So, these are some of the fan arts. I kind of like this. I remember him with a monocle. Me too. Mono yeah, I remember it like as it was yesterday. Um, it's so weird. All right, the Ford one, Chick Fil A. I, I'm guessing it's this, but I always thought it was this, the top one, without a K. I don't oh. know which one's right. I don't even know which yeah. one's right. Because otherwise, it would be Chick Fil A. Well, is it chick, like as in chicken filet? I thought it was chick just because it's a chick. You know, not chic. But which one is it, people? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. I guess. Come on. Uh, which one? Does he have suspenders or not? Oh, uh, yes. I want to say yes, too. Is that correct or not correct? Why aren't we getting we answers? We'll have to look. Um, let's see. That's a good one. Oscar Mayer is one that messed me up. Yeah, he does have suspenders. Oh, he does. Wait a minute. What is it not? Isn't it McDonald's? M-A-C? No, it's M-C Donald's. What? Really? Holy crap. Is it? So we call it Maccas, so it makes sense that it's M-A-C. But then, well, now that I'm... They got the Big Mac from McDonald's. Why would it be something different? Right? Yeah. The Pikachu one threw me as well. Oh, yeah. Me too. I was talking about that. Like, I wasn't a big fan, but I always remember him having the black tail. Um... Well, nope. Okay. Apparently, he does not have sus the suspenders on. No, huh? That was added. That was added purely, simply for actual real life, real world costuming. Huh. Good to know. I want to find different ones. Let's see if we could see any here, and then we'll go on to something else. Um. Okay, ET phone home. Check your four G mm -hmm. connection because the creepy Q alien actually says ET home phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I always thought it was phone home. Um, dogs playing poker. You're probably familiar with the famous painting that has a bunch of dogs sitting around a table, smoking, drinking, beers playing, and the one facing us is clearly wearing a green poker hat, right? Nope. Uh, I thought one was, but I couldn't tell you if they were or not. Yeah, Curious George, Monopoly, Fruit Loops, The Wizard of Oz. Uh, what's the famous line? Um, Toto, where's we're not in Kansas anymore. I don't anymore. no, I don't think I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh no, yeah, I have I, a feeling I have I, a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, I guess like that's that. what it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Thinking Man statue, many people remember the Thinking Man statue, uh actually the thinker with the man resting his forehead on the closed fist. I do remember something like that, but that looks right. I always thought he yeah, was like this. No, I I I don't I'm not very good at my old Greek statues. Yeah. I try. I gotta brush up on that. Um, okay. Let's see what else we got. I mean, there's a lot of ones that, like, in music where people, like, just misheard lyrics. Like, you know, like, yep. um, like Tiny Danza. People swear he was singing about Tony Danza. You know, hold me closer, Tony Danza. Yeah. Instead of, yeah. 
but I wouldn't really consider those a uh, a Mandela effect. Okay. Well, no, yeah, that's just miss on knowing it. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, I I missed I missed saying everything. Like when I was there was a song from um, uh, God, what's the name? The they sing uh with uh Perry Steve Perry. Um, oh my God, I'm blanking on the name of the band. Anyways, they sang a song. Oh Sherry, our love holds on, holds on. I was really little when that came out, and I used to think it was Oh Sherry, our love is like coleslaw, coleslaw. Oh Sherry. No, Thank I you. think that's right. I think the second one it's is that's how right. I remember. It. Yeah. Okay, I just Mandela. KFC effect. needs to KFC needs to use that for their marketing because right. their coleslaw is terrible. Should. Yeah. Somebody should. Um, Monty Python, he says, I'm not dead yet, but actually he doesn't say yet. I always remember him saying, I'm not dead yet. I'm just a little, <laughs> what does he say? Um, you're, you're almost dead. Oh man, I love that scene, but I guess it's not yet. He doesn't say yet. Oh, the Wizard of Oz again. The Wicked Witch gleefully yelling, fly my pretties, fly. Except she doesn't. She only says fly, fly, fly. Well, she does say my pretties in some form. Yeah, right? she, she calls them my pretties, so it's understandable okay. with that. Yeah. Oh, the big one from Transformers, Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, maybe you saw that movie, but I bet you didn't because that wasn't its name. Um, uh, no, it's Dark of oh, the Moon. Oh, Dark of the Moon, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I remember the title. I'm like, what does that even mean? It's a right. dumb, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, Field of Dreams. That was the one. This that was one, the one messes me up too yeah. because I know at the end, um, Shoeless Joe says, repeats all of it, and he says, "If you build it, he will come." And that's when you see the guy taking off the, the catching equipment. But at the beginning, I swear he would. It said, "If you build it, they will come." They will. I, I remember it as they. We all do. I think. Uh, that's that's a weird one. Not he will come from the beginning. I thought that was like the little change on it at the end that makes you realize it was all, you know. And because you accidentally brushed past a Star Wars thing earlier. Hi, Rhino. Ah, oh, Rhino. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Um, Jaws. Okay, why risk yourself and say we when you don't have to? Um, and that's why in the famous scene right after they encounter him, uh, he actually says, you're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. He's one of those ones that was used in advertisement right. a lot. Right. Um, but yeah, because it wasn't his boat, so it makes sense that yeah. I remember this. I remember this Shazam movie. I don't know if that's what it was called, but I remember Shaq being in Kazam and Sinbad being in another around the same time, but not exactly. Um, and Sinbad wearing a blue button down with a yeah. red vest not this purple stuff yeah but blue i remember blue yes man it's messed up that they're messing with my mind uh the jiffy one kind of gets me looney tunes we talked about 27 berenstain ones hot dog okay the oscar meyer i always thought was m-e-y-e-r i guess it wasn't yeah oh, wait a minute. Uh, not too sure about that one wait a minute no not m-e i always remember it as, wait a minute which way is it spelled M A Y E R, yeah. Not for whatever reason, though. Many people remember it with an A. Okay, I might be one of those. Fly, you fool. Risky business. No sunglasses. That blows my mind. Smokey the Bear blows my mind. Um, Queens, Queen, yeah. Mister Rogers. I love Lucy. Was a good one. Cheetos. It ain't easy being cheesy, but apparently it is because the ever cool Chester. Uh, Cheetah never said that line. He says it's not easy being cheesy. Okay, big deal. My, oh, okay, yeah, it's the yeah. same words, different order. Right. Flintstones, Kit Kats, the Oscars. Yeah, Sally, the bitch. Billy Ray Cyrus. Don't break my heart. My achy, breaky heart. And this says, don't tell my heart. No, it's don't break my heart. No, don't tell my heart. My achy, breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. Don't oh. yeah, Don't tell. I remember tell. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not a country guy. Except for Luke Combs. I like Luke Combs. Um, yeah, well, I mean, here's the thing. I blame Billy Ray Cyrus for one thing. He had a daughter. Right. <laughs> that, yeah, you have a valid point. That's so, that, why that one's really going to bother me now? Because I don't understand it. Yeah. What it makes more going for. It makes more sense being wiped out. It, what is W-I-T-E? Is that something that we just don't know? The person's name that created it? But why is, I don't there know. A, why is there a weird like, dot afterwards as well? Yeah. 
makes no sense. Uh, three little pigs. What's the most famous line? I'll huff, I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. But he actually says, I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house down. Okay. Blow your house in. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember that one. I don't know yeah, what Zantam is. It's hard that because that's something that's a story that old has been uh, repopularized so many different times and so many different ways. Right. So, yeah. Right. So you might remember the kids' movie uh, with Frankie Munez and Duff secret agent Cody Banks. For some reason, many of us strongly remember the word secret being at the beginning of the movie's title, but it was never. It's just oh, Agent Cody Banks. Cody Banks. Yeah, I don't remember secret. Uh, let's see. Many of us in the West have an image of Adam and Eve eating the forbidden apple from the garden. Those of us that went to church as kids must have come across it in the Bible, the scripture thing is the bible never mentions a specific fruit right right we a lot of people think it's a fig um but for some reason it was painted with apples sometimes you know so she threw away all of it just for a bloody fig yeah so this yeah. fruit of a loom one was always to me the newer version yeah. i always remember one with uh with the cornucopia yeah that's the weed oh what's up with gangsta's paradise uh, people remember the chorus in it. We've been spending most of our lives living in a gangster's paradise. When the line lyrics are actually, they've been spending most of their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Okay, so this article is clearly wrong. Right, it's we've yeah. been. Come on, we've all been. Actually, I don't even think they say we. I just think it says been spending most of our lives. Hmm. But if anything, wouldn't he include himself in that gangster's paradise? Been spending right. most of our lives. Been spending most of their lives? Right. I don't know. That's, That's weird. I'm going to have to go listen to that again. Charlie's Angels. Um, the remake, Lucy Liu, Barrymore, and Diaz uh, imitating many aspects of the original show. Most of us clearly remember them doing the classic gun poses, pose with the three back-to-back, -back, yet that never pose like the like the art below so they never no, did this because because drew back because drew barrymore was strictly against it oh okay yeah so she was prude um prude barrymore yeah. yeah so the chester cat we're all mad here right uh thousands of tattoos out there with that line if only it was actually right the kitty says most everyone is mad here ha huh. that's awesome that people have it wrong um that's one thing you want to do. Get it definitely tattooed on your body. Yeah. So, f because I only ever tried Funyuns. But okay, so I guess it's not... F I I didn't because I've only ever tried Funyuns. Uh, so I always thought it was Funyuns like onions. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. So the secret to advertising is don't make anything that actually relates to the product. Right. That's true. That is true. Um, do you remember the iconic King Tut death mask, the elaborate golden casket that went over his head or any beautiful bloom blah, 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 right beside the snake head? Yeah, I do. But that they saying it's not his Wait, uh, He's got two snake heads. Oh, shoot. You, you never noticed the one on the left. Okay. Huh? It's an eagle. Is that, is, is that what, it, is that what it is? I guess so. It's an eagle located right beside the snake head. I think we oh. don't remember it because it's lower and it. I don't know. That's weird. I only remember the snake. No, but it sticks out like dog's nuts now looking at yeah, it. Yeah, like... that's weird, dude. Huh. Uh, Donald Trump. Last but not least, Trump. Out of curiosity, I want to see if any, if an example of the Middle Effects exists. Oh, you're a douche. You're a douche. Oh, there never was a Trump. There never was lower gas prices and uh, lower It There never was an economy. Yeah, exactly. There was an economy. What douches. All right, I got one. So, um, interview, interview with a Vampire. Have you seen that movie? Yes. No, you haven't. What is it? Interview with the Vampire. Not a Vampire. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's interview... Yeah, it's interview with the vampire, not interview with a vampire. I can clearly remember. You want to bring up a... the movie one you have? Is this the one you were looking at? Uh, Screen Crush. Uh this is another one as well. Okay, all right. So... I'll, I'll bring up the. Well, why don't you run through the Screen Crush one, right. or whichever one's better you think? Well, I'm just looking through. So a lot of the stuff has been um, 
bits and pieces from both we've already right. touched on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll just go, go through the first one because there's only a couple on there that we haven't touched on yet, I don't think. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at people in the chat, what they're saying while you're doing it. People just thought the economy was better and everything was cheaper. Yeah, we just thought that. Actually, it was. you asked some of the people out there, like the now sitting uh, former vice president, uh, president, he uh, he believes that the economy was worse. I what's up with big? So some people seem to think that he doesn't turn back into a kid at the end. Oh, he definitely does. Yeah. But yeah, that's for me. That's that's a weird one. Um, I mean, it's the least of the film's problems when you think about right. it. Right. I mean, he turns back uh, to a kid and she gives him like that. Oh shucks! I'll, I'll still bang you. Look. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see you in five years' time when you're legal age. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Yeah. Um, the, you've done the silver leg one. Why did uh, <laughs> the memes of destruction sent me the flute of summoning? I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, the flute of summoning. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to Google that right now. The memes of destruction. I guess it's his own thing. I don't know. Uh. That's awesome though. <laughs> oh no, that was multiple ending ones. Yeah. Um. And yeah, in Japan they showed a different one. Uh, yep, Stripe and Spike. We went through that one, the glasses. Right. right. All right. Alien Pro... Okay, I didn't see this one. Okay, which one's this? Aliens. Um, okay. Sigourney was apparently wearing futuristic Reeboks. People seem to remember, but apparently she wasn't. Huh. Can you blow it up a little bit more? Uh, in beginning. Yeah, in beginning it. I guess so, she was... What was she wearing then? Um... Reebok was a preview shoe that you won't see for 150 years. Yeah, I do remember something about, about shoes that you won't see for, for X amount of years. But apparently that was nothing to do with it. That's weird. Okay, so uh, one of our crack um, amazing members just downloaded Gangster's Paradise from Amazon. And he says it initially their lives, it says, then follows up with our lives in the second half of the course. It's both. Huh. Aha, uh -huh. they tricked us with half truths. How many people See, I I I'm sorry with the of the world. I still remember it ending that way. And I know that's like a break in the song with of the world. It's in the song, right? It's just not the end. Yeah, well I mean it's the same thing with um uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. How how it ends. The last five lines is any way the wind blows. Any way the wind blows. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember it um, that way. That's the weird part. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I remember that, because that's that's actually the very end of the part to uh, Wayne's World, when they're doing it in the uh, Gremlin, they're singing the song, as they're pulling in, it's they don't sing that part. It's just that part plays off. So yeah. Yeah, that one, that one still throws me. I uh, Sally Field speech. Oh my God! I thought his name was Nick McCabe. Isn't that crazy? God, that's weird. Uh, I thought he had less hair. I didn't think he had a beard either. Mandela effect uh, confirmed. Yep. Get some What's that? Frankenstein meal, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, no, that's the next article. So oh, okay. um, I'll share the other one. Uh, yeah, and then we'll move on to a couple. Uh, um, oh, newer... no, that was. Sorry, this other one was literally. We just covered those in that one. Okay. Yeah, so. All right, yeah, well, it's just an interview with a vampire versus the vampire. I always thought it was a vampire. Yeah, same here. But hair. apparently it's the. So when they're talking about a vampire in that movie, they're only talking about Lestat. The, the vampire. Um, yeah. It's, it's Taco Bell, but some remember it being Pizza Hut. What? <laughs> Aren't they both now? Um, uh, the trippy part of Gangster's Paradise for me was that I didn't remember it being Coolio as the artist. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Coolio featuring LV. Cause, yeah, because he got mad. He was because he didn't know who um, Weird Al Yankovic was. He was pissed that he wanted to cover his song. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is quite funny. Amish is, Paradise is a classic. Amish Paradise um, is a classic. The weirdest thing about it is you got such a cool song like that for such an average movie in um, uh, not Criminal Minds. What was it? Dangerous Minds. Dangerous Minds. Yeah. With um, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah. I'm I'm so glad that that trope died out of um, the white savior going to the, the black white, neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah. If you want to talk about, you want to talk about like the left that 
like now they preach all this stuff. Let's go back and see some of their movies. Okay. And that's probably why she never speaks up because a lot of them did the white savior thing. Like I'm going to go into the inner city and save you. Like, you know, want to want to watch a really good one about a teacher that motivates. Uh, it's, Oh God. Now I'm dead poet society. (laughs) That's a great, (laughs) yeah, that's a great one. No, it's, um, stand and deliver. Where is that Matthew Perry? No, no, it is. Um, oh God, he's Spanish guy. It is not. Oh God. What is his name? I'm blanking on the Spanish if, guy's if name. If he's Spanish, I'm going to go Antonio Banderas or the, the other one. Lou Diamond Phillips. The other one. Older. The other other one. Yeah. Kind of looks like what's his name from uh, Kenobi. Um, uh, the guy who plays uh, Leia's, little Leia's. Uh, like Jimmy Smith's? Yeah, kind of like Jimmy Smith's, but not Jimmy Smith's. But anyways, that movie taught me how to do uh, multiples of 10 on your finger, or nines on your finger. So like, if it's... Nine times oh, three. No, one, um, two, uh, uh, three. What's his name from Battlestar Galactica? Yes. yes. Um, um, Edward James. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. The the I remember that as well. Yes. Yeah. So if you do nine times three, one, two, three. Yeah. 20, Twenty-seven. 27. Yeah. I was like, it changed my my childhood. All right, so we're gonna move on to. Oh, by the way, put in the chat the one Mandela effect that you're like. This is the one that I blew my mind. You know, and you could just ref- quick reference to which one it is. Which one blew your mind the most? Which one for you? There's so uh, many of them. Now I'm blanking. <laughs> yeah. Um, ch- I, I mean, Shazam still bothers me. Yeah, me too. It's, it's still, to this day, genuinely makes me question yep. everything Reality. that I know about what I know. Yeah. Yeah. Soul Assassin. How can I teach these kids? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, dude. that's right. South Park ripped that off. <laughs> oh yeah, what was that Hillary Swank one? She did it too. Um, it was something about like passing the book along to each other and writing. I forgot the name of that one though. Um, yeah, Stand and Deliver was great. Um, but okay, yeah, but that, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm was, talking about that... Stand and Deliver. I mean Mandela Effect. Mandela Effect. Are no, great. that was a shitty movie. But the one that got <laughs> the one that got me was. Shazam if that I don't care if that was the name I just remember him being in a movie as a as a as definitely as a freaking genie um and then life is not was a box of chocolates blows my mind like I could get the Luke or the no I am your father but like it doesn't make sense that he says was in the context of what he's saying what's freedom riders I've seen a couple of people that's it that's the movie freedom riders with Hillary Swank yeah She's a white savior. Yeah. I, I was like, I don't remember that Mandela effect. Yeah. A lot of people, it's Mandela himself. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Moonraker. James Bond movie. Yeah. The only one I remember having braces was Jaws. Right. It's. I think they're confusing it with Happy Gilmore when he because smiles at a girl and she smiles with braces. Yeah. Yeah. Ed McMahon one messed me up, too. Yeah, you see that that's because it's not something that I I grew up with. It, it that's yeah. all like later on. I do remember certain things, right. and it might be it wasn't public clearing house. It was you know maybe it was the same letters in a deal. Like I don't know. For yeah, certain. it was. Just don't even um, fight it. It was. But when they that, said he never ever gave out giant checks or anything, but I can clearly remember him holding checks. That's yeah. the weird thing. I don't know, dude. It's yeah, the check thing. I mean. It, I everybody always remembers that. Another one is um Oh shit, what was the other one I was going to just say? Oh, anyways, we're going to move on to footage now. These are some of the Ooh. most recent uh UAP or UFO footage captured. Is this um, from the February dump of information? No, it is not. This well, maybe uh best this was when did he premiere this? February 20th. Yep. Okay, so cool. It is. And this is from Trackman 2007 and I'm subscribed to him now uh, because I want way the... better than Trackman 2006 by a yeah. long shot. Oh, yeah. long shot, dude. All right. Here, let me. Yeah, so I... should I mute it? Yeah, I should probably mute it. Um, so this is in Utah. Outside of the... Whoa. 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 Oh, it curved. Holy crap, that came in out of nowhere. Look, 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 look at the, yeah. look at the angle. 
Yeah, man. You could see it off in the distance, and then all of a sudden, whoom. The hell was that? Now I got to listen to why he. And so uh, that was shot documentary uh, out in outside of Beaver, Utah. Okay. And so uh, that was shot, you know, maybe a couple miles outside of Beaver, and the uh, Beaver is like two hours north. Of See the hour the distortion that it gets when it's close when it gets close to the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, that has to be really close because the only way that you would get that that level of distortion is when it's uh, past its focal. Uh, it's too close for its focal range. Right, and it's so going that, too fast. So that thing's not very big either. No. That's actually very small. Yeah. No, you're. Oh crap. <laughs> Joe Rogan experience. Um, yeah, you're right. It, it has to be small. And oh, man, that's tough. But see, like, I don't know if it's an optical illusion, but it, it clearly around here, What's it this? looks like it's bending. It looks like yeah. it's bending. Oh, no, it looks like it's coming in on an angle and turning, like, turning and bending. But yeah. Wow. That one's funky, man. I've never seen. I've never seen anything that clear. I just naturally thought UFOs were blurry in real life. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, because you'll see here where it see see the distortion there where it practically disappears yep. when it got really close to it. Yep. Um, they're probably what. Oh, go yeah, ahead. I'm sorry. They're probably about fifty, sixty meters um in the air, looking at the um the like the height of the trees. Yeah. Oh yeah, because look at the trees. Now think yeah. about this. He's also talking about how far it is. It's like three and a half miles away. Yeah, so that's, that's like something so quick. in kilo, yeah. whatever you guys use for. Kilometers. Kilometers. Yeah, so it's about like six, five, six, six, six kilometers. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, the turn it comes in too. Yeah. That is amazing. That's Utah too. What a beautiful place. Look at it turn. Huh. That. Like the see... G, the G forces alone in that that must be exerting. Yes. I mean, they have to have something that bends space in front of it. Some type of ability to, like, it's actually warping space in its yeah, own... Yeah, it's, it's, it's not actually, actually travelling. It's the space around it that's moving exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, dude, that is unbelievably fast. Three and a half miles away that quick, that must be... I, I couldn't imagine how fast it's actually going. I'm going to make sure to share this link out. For when you're done with uh, the stream, maybe yeah. go over there and check out this guy That's and insane. let him know I sent you, even though he has no clue who I am. Uh, yeah, dude, Gary's gonna shit when he sees that. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, I know. I found it especially for him. Yeah, I, I found it especially for him because I never saw this one. It's been out since February. Uh, yeah, they got some big panel that. thing happening, so he couldn't make it today, unfortunately. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. That's who was our going to be our surprise guest today was going to be Gary, but just Gary even offering to yeah. stop in is is awesome. So this is to the Stars Academy footage. To the Stars Academy is uh, Tom DeLong's group. He is the one of the singers and guitarists of Blink One Eighty Two. I think he's being used by the government, but the people he has Ooh. on his payroll are unbelievable. Like they are true. Ex CIA, ex Department of Defense. Unbelievable, man. Man, the Tic Tacs is coming. Like that's that's the weird thing. Like I, I was actually talking about this with um, with Gary the other day. So yeah. Like, where um, is that? Did you post that article or that? No, no, um, it's uh, it's going up Thursday. So what so, is that again? Let everybody know. Uh, so I did a behind the mic is my uh, series where I, I talk to YouTubers about. Uh, you know, their channel life and just to get to know them a little bit better. It's called mm -hmm. Behind the Mic and usually it goes for about 40, 45 minutes. But I had Gary on this week. Um, he was Which gracious awesome. enough to give me some time. And that 45 minutes turned into an hour and a half. And That's then scary. another 45 minutes afterwards <laughs> off air conversation. So, you know, it was, it was really good. So, uh, but yeah, we spoke about a lot of different things, the Tic Tac stuff, like... Um, his theory is pretty cool. But he thinks they're actually uh, they're earthbound. Mm -hmm. they're probably like you know the oceans and stuff. Oh, I believe I believe that too. And if anything, they they are coming from portals. That's yes, why, like, you, when you I talk that, yeah, I talk about the hollow earth. Like, who's to say these 
these alien crafts are not coming from space down, but they're coming from hollow out. Who's to say they need to be anything in anything other than that massive uh, cavern that holds more water than our oceans combined? Like that's that's why like I don't. Some people are like that's so lame, but like I don't like just assume I'm smarter than everybody and think like it can't happen. Um, what about you? Well, yeah, I think it's I think it's the one thing if 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 they if our alien type technology and all, all that sort of stuff actually comes from uh, you know within Earth, mm-hmm. it actually it's a nice juxtaposition between like say science and religion. Right. Where most religions say you know essentially that no humans are the only things that have existed, but mm-hmm. if there is another species that also lived on the planet, not extraterrestrial, right? Um, it kind of it kind of fulfills the criteria of both. Um, you know, the scientific mind that wants to uh, explore new life and everything, and also the religious have said, no, Earth is the central. So I, I think it's I think it's plausible, and it would be, I think it would be a safe, put it this way, it would be the safest compromise out of, out of all of them instead of a you know, spaceship coming down and landing at the White House. Right. I mean, it could always be that we believe it, like people that believe in the hollow Earth phenomenon, it's actually like tears in time and space, portholes to different dimensions or even like a, um, a wormhole from a different place in, in space, but it comes out of us. Yeah. Anything, you know, um, Eric K thinks for $2, it has to be small, small. That is what Mrs. Spork said. I told you to stop talking to my wife. Um, thanks Eric. Not that it Uh, was, it just has to be just say, yeah, I make mistakes. It's not right. Hey guys, we got 47 likes. If you have not hit the like button, let's hit 50 before we close this one, this show out. There was another one I wanted to show and let's just bring this up because it's easier to look through all these. I try to give everybody their props that um, videos I'm, I'm watching. Uh, this Brazilian one is pretty, pretty cool. If this is the one I think it is. Um, Oh, that looks like hands. Oh, right. wait, that was a logo. Oh, 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 shit. This is in Sao Paulo. Brazil. What's the 22nd month? That's weird. Actually, it's January. That's my birthday, January 22nd. So this was on my birthday. See, that dating format makes sense. You know, day, uh, month, year. No, it doesn't. What month, what day, what year? I don't know how you guys do it. You and your metric systems and weird things. Even though our our armed forces use the same exact thing. You What's guys illuminating do. that? That's I don't know. That's that's like I mean, there's a lot of noise on it as well, but what I'm saying is for for it to be that size, that must be massive. Massive. Be that far away? Massive. And no, no nothing would have a light source that's that, that sp- big. Look at it spinning the colors. I think a lot of that the I think a lot of that is the noise of the footage. Okay. That looks like that looks like noise. So Okay. Okay. It it has an interesting shape to it. It almost yeah, looks I, like it's solid but with like a hole in the middle. Yeah, it's weird. It's not saying like I mean, is that attached to something or is that the vessel? Cuz I'd hate to think that was just something attached to something. Right. It's very interesting. Uh, UFO sightings. You only have 458 subscribers. Guess what? You got one more buddy and I'm going to share your video. Uh, once again, support these guys and let them know Sparky news sent you. Uh, maybe, uh, I could get more info from these guys and use their stuff more often. And I love you people for helping me out. Eric, K, hey, do you have a massage chair? It's so, if so, take a rest. <laughs> <laughs> His back is burning, I guess. Oh, Eric, uh. relax, man. Canada's rough. Um, let's see. There was some others I wanted to look at. All right, let's go back. This one's in uh, New South Wales, Australia. Yeah, I know I that area. Yeah, I don't know what year this is. I don't know. Yeah, this is 2022. Again, this is from uh, 3 a.m. Lowdown. I'm subscribing to him. All right, let's see what he has this show. Unmodified. Okay, so this just happened. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, this was the one. This was uh like two weeks ago. Was it really? Yeah. Well, is it June second or is it February sixth? Wow, look at that. What the hell? 
So that's that's the camera getting that flash, right? But yeah. So this is multiple views of the thing. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the one. This is the one that I saw. This this part here. I didn't realize it was a part one. Whoa. I wish I could zoom in. Wow. What the hell is that? Huh. That is interesting. Yeah, it, it has to be more likely coming from under the oceans than so many aliens use us as a stop, you know, uh, like a rest stop. Yeah. All right, man, I'm going to share your video. Please, guys, if you have the time, once again, let them know. Um, so um, can I can I ban someone from the chat? I was just about to. Yeah. I was just about to do that one. <laughs> is there an issue with South? Are you from South? Yeah. Wales? Well, he's he's a dirty Queenslander. So oh. um, yeah, that's that, that's like being Tasmanian, except that he, even his own family won't fuck him. <laughs> um, all right. So we got UAP fleet sighting. This was in June. It only has two views. Oh, I'm already a channel member. I just became one for this guy. Yeah. Hit the like button. Is this from the space station or is this actual huh tilt down buddy tilt down yeah right what are we looking at it's so hot this is uh, that, that oh, has yeah. to be pretty high because you just saw it go behind a cloud so yeah. it's above the now recent in recent months ohio has had a lot of um sightings uh, I don't know what I'm seeing it's too <laughs> it's too tough to tell but I'm gonna put great video uh, hope you don't mind me using your stuff in my live stream giving you shout outs right good 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 all right well, i mean that's uh, across the desert there's in australia there's a thing called the min min lights have you mm -hmm. heard of those no um yeah it's a bunch of lights that follow people um and they go around cars and everything really yeah I'll see if I can find some, some footage. Yeah, while you do that, I'm going to check out this one. Um, what the hell is that? could be a million things that's the problem with yeah that's, that one's tough I'm, I'm i'm running the same issue with the min min light stuff all because they're all filmed on cheap little cameras mm -hmm. um, but yeah they're they're essentially colored lights mm -hmm. that go around in the outback and they'll follow you from one area to the other that's crazy Multiple, yeah so only real ufos witness described light in the sky pointing straight down saw this in my backyard fort lauderdale Go. florida God, I hope it was like a parody one. <laughs> oh, that's like, are we saying they're like breaking the sound barrier? That's what I'm saying. That's 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 already hit Mark Five. It's six. Yeah. And what's crazy Seven, is like it may like just stop and then eight. automatically do it again. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa, where did it go? How did it go all the way back there? I don't think Wait so. Wait a minute. All right, we're watching it going from right to left on screen. The guy's following it. Only real UFOs uh, YouTube channel. Check them out. Okay, and then all of a sudden, 
No, oh, he's Ed Zale. turned. Oh, he turned. Okay. It almost looks like a comet like that. Yeah. There's something the at the hell? back of it. Yeah, what the hell is that? See, because that, that was different to the other ones because you could clearly see it breaking the sound barrier. Yeah. I mean, it's going, it's high up there and it is going fast. Look at the way, the, what is that below it? But is, notice, do you see this do, right do, here? Yeah, yeah. Do you notice that it's moving at the same direction and movement as the thing? It, it almost looks like it's, there's a, uh, like a tractor beam or something with it. Yeah. It's so weird. And it's definitely above the clouds. Right. But that thing, wait a minute, maybe it's not. Because it didn't look like it was there. No, it, that's it, below the clouds. No, I but the don't other, think so. The other, the dots were dot, were dot going behind it. No, it looks like it's going. This this bigger part is going behind the clouds, or through that one. It didn't look like it did. You're right. Yeah, but if you look at the bottom ones, they're they're behind the clouds now. Well, now it is. Could it be diving yeah. and going up? You know what I mean? Like, that's weird. That is really strange. I haven't seen this one. That is so interesting. Yep, confirmed. Sky ghost. Okay, so I have a story about chemtrails. I never believed in chemtrails. I, I could, I, I, let me rephrase that. Could the government be putting some type of particles in the atmosphere to either try to help the ozone, try to help global warming, or try to control us? Yeah, maybe. But I never believed in it. So one day I'm, I'm leaving work, and I work right on the river. So it's one town, and on the other side, there's another town. Um, and it's more of a lower in, not lower income, but not a, a kept up city. So the not kept up city, I look above it and I am not kidding you. It was like a waffle just straight across maybe 10 times and then straight through again, vertical, maybe another nine to 10 times. It was a perfect net look and how, like, first of all, Planes, like, when they're burning their fuel, it shouldn't have that much of a exhaust behind it that sits perfectly to look like a, a net, a literal net over this city, massive. I'm talking 50, 60 miles long easily. I'm going both directions. It was actually pretty terrifying to see. Um, again, do I know what chemtrails are? I don't know, but that was terrifying. And then two days later, all your hair fell out. It did. I had, I had hair down to my ass. Um, okay. So now we're taking a closer look. That's breaking sound barrier yeah. right there. Every time. Boom, boom. It's like Iron Man or something. It hits Mark five. Or like it's, it's Ezra Miller running away from the police. He's so fast. What a dirt bag. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. I don't know. The way it's pulling those things is weird. Like, yeah. Because if, 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 it looked like he broke the sound barrier five times. If that's the case, then he's going 3,900 miles an hour. Yeah. All right. So he does a little color. I don't know if you know that, but that's fast. That's real fast. That's crazy. I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I don't know, but I do have to wrap it up. It's getting a little late. It's uh, We've been out for two hours and 15 minutes. Yes, I have seen that kind of trail also, Scott. Yeah, Katina, it's freaky. Just just trust the government and their Skynet. Yes. Uh, Snowpiercer? Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen the movie um, with, um, with Captain America in it. That is not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, there's a show. Couldn't really get into that. The, the, the show has its good point, but it's very... Is it slow? Maybe? I don't uh, know. Because it's like a really. prequel, right? It's kind of earlier. Yeah, um, well, it's, it's actually based off... It's not based off the movie. It's based off the, off the comic oh, okay. series. So, um, Jennifer Connelly's in that, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's why I was um, watching. But the problem is she's a bad guy who, who he's then the hero. Like, after she brutally murders people who... Happened to just, oh, 
come back to life. Right. Oh, look, right. so therefore, I didn't actually kill anyone, so now I'm the hero of the story. Right. Yay. Yay. I don't know. Right now, i got to catch up on season one and two of The Orville so we can cover it on Nina Infinity's channel. I think that's what we're doing on Sunday. Uh, so my new schedule, guys, I, I am here. Sparky News, the, the greatest show on Saturday nights, The Dump, with some of the greatest panelists like Jane Theory, Mark with a C, Raging Rhino, this guy, even Culture and Mad, uh, George, um, Toxic Man Flu. So that show's been kicking butt. Uh, we're doing this show. We're trying to kick butt doing this show. I'm having fun doing this. May not do it when House of the Dragon comes out. I'm going to decide. Well, I'll talk with Grant about that. This might turn into just a members thing I do for a few weeks, and then we'll come back and do it more. Um, and then Wednesday nights, the Mad Dump, guys. Mad Mardigan, show him love. Let him think he's better than me. Get like 200 likes while during a live stream. I would love that. Help my man out because he's a good dude, and he deserves even more than what he has. He's a YouTuber's YouTuber. So damn straight. And if you ever get a chance to see him on, um, if you ever get a chance to see him on literature devils channel, um, for a guy who doesn't know anything about anime, you would never know. He fits in perfectly. There. I know. I, I oh, should be gosh, on that channel. Hilarious. I should be on that channel, but you know, he'll never invite him to my show. Hopefully he gets him at least on a Wednesday. I like that. The dump is less than aluminum spork. I'll take it as a compliment. Uh, Mark, thank you guys. All you guys. Yeah, really, thank you so much for coming out. Um, I'm hoping this becomes a bigger show, you know, just like any other one. I mean, we had almost 40 people watching live at one point. I'd love to get this up to 50 solid. Um, so make sure you share it out. Let people know next week. Uh, I think we're going to discuss the moon and different theories about the moon, conspiracies about the moon. Uh, it should be pretty fun. So, uh, Mr. Grant Gregory, thank you for showing up at some point. Oh, yeah, not a problem. I just, as I said, I remember I was on time, but that's the yeah, Mandela yeah. effect for you. It is, it is. Uh, it's, you know what it is? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that is that. We're Hopefully we'll get a... We should I'll have to talk to you guys about getting a uh, intro for this show. Maybe a quick yeah. little 20 second one. Yeah, we're working on one at the moment. Should be ready by next week. You rock, man. All right. Thank you, everybody, to my channel members. We'll get this updated sometime when Culture Casino could do it. So there are some of you not on here, but I thank you all for being channel members. Even even if you were gifted it, it means a lot to me that you come around, check out the show. If you want to stay a member, that'd be great. If not, just Keep supporting the show any way you can with likes, shares, comments. Come back after the show and comment so uh, the algorithm picks it up. And uh, remember, the truth is uh, the truth is a spork. I got to think of something better. Later on. Yeah, we'll, we'll workshop. We'll work on it. Yeah, we'll work yeah. on it. Yeah. The spork is out there. Oh, I like that. The spork is somewhere out there. I don't know. It's a and Mandela we'll, thing. And then it'll turn into something else, and then there'll be a whole Mandela effect episode on the outro. Ugh. Yes. Yeah. Later, everybody. Yeah, I can really use this guy updating all these people. I look like I have such a following. Look at all these people. It's awesome. Not everyone has people. Yeah, I love it. Good night, everybody. Stay safe.